Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Welcome to episode 100. 100. 100. Oh, the TT's podcast. I can't get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he still sick? Good job. Yeah. Guys, my yeah. voice is still she coming sounds, back. She sounds... Yeah. yeah. I think I sound quite nice like this. Okay. You, <laughs> do you know what? You, your voice is, it sounds much better than it, it did husky. a week ago. Yeah. Yeah. We love it. We love a husk. Sexy. That's yeah. right. Uh-huh. <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> I'm Welcome to TT's podcast. Yes. Happy New Year, yeah, ha- everyone. Oh, yeah. Happy, happy New Year. Happy 2022. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Happy New Year. Um, TT's podcast. My name is Anna. I'm right. Yeah, thank you. Hundreds. We, do we didn't do <laughs> No, we didn't say But we have a special guest. Hello. Listen, listen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Lord. For episode 100, we said we have to bring a special guest. So you have yes. someone who's gonna come up with the laughter, come with the vibes, yeah. the gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Just who's just gonna come so like? And listen, who's better than? Come on, introduce yourself. Oh my god, <laughs> I feel so special. You are, babe. You are. Hi, I'm Amal Layla. Come on, sit down. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just Amal Layla. I'm existing in it. <laughs> no, we love it, guys. Yeah. If you don't remember, in the pandemic, it was only in the pandemic and we could be your podcast. Yeah, early oh, in the pandemic. It? So was that 2020? Yeah. That was 2020. Wow. It was 2020. Oh it was gosh. it was early in the pandemic, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's like one of people's favourite episodes. It was really No, cool. we had fun. We had fun. Yeah, it was, no, we had it was fun. really good. I really enjoyed it. It was over Zoom. <laughs> it was. No, it, no, it wasn't on Zoom. It was it on... Was, um, what was Zencaster. Zencaster. That's Zencaster. the one. Zencaster. Oh, Zencaster. Did he remember Zencaster? Brent hated us. No, no. Brent hated you guys because Zencaster is the worst one. <laughs> It sounded so bad, and then we discovered we could do Zoom. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we were like, "Why didn't anyone tell us?" And you can't see each other on Zencaster. Yeah, you as well. can't see each other. Plus, yeah. when two people are talking, yeah, it, it, it just clashes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, podcast is hard, you know. But well done, you got to hundred. <laughs> Episode one hundred. Huh? No, we here. Feel? I feel accomplished. I feel accomplished because it's not easy to be, you know, doing this every week. No, I mean, we didn't do every week. We tried to. No, we tried to. <laughs> we, we, we do it most weeks, but we um, do most wow. weeks. But I don't want to say I feel accomplished just yet. I, I don't. I want to. I just feel like it's great. Do you know what here. I feel like? It's you know great. when people are like, oh, like how, like what, what did you accomplish for the year? Oh, I'm alive. Yeah, we came. We got yeah, to no, it's true. That's yeah, true. Yeah. 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 yeah it's true like, man I said that's why it's so important to be consistent mm-hmm. that's why I quit drinking it was out of consistency and willpower right. so hold on when you were drinking were you consistently drinking <laughs> <laughs> I love it I'm so, screaming you know what yeah there was a moment where I turned around to myself and I was like are you an alcoholic mm. I literally had to ask myself like bad I will drink good mm. I will drink yeah. Yeah. I will drink I just need to drink I will drink right and then like it's when you live alone as well mm-hmm. there's just the drinks trolley there yeah like, and trolley. I'll just be like yeah I'm just gonna have a drink I'm yeah. just gonna have a drink do you know what yeah I think the pandemic made it worse as well this pandemic made it work we were meant to be doing um dry January <laughs> and going, well yesterday we both had a beer yesterday <laughs> We completely and, forgot. <laughs> nah, half through the bit, I was like, hold on, we're going to do Jan. What's happening? What is going on, please? But do you know what? We've got champagne today. Champagne. Iman bought us yeah. some champagne. Can I bring some champagne? Aye, aye. If you're, listen, if you're the visuals, you can see. I went to get the Moe, but there was no Moe. Listen, no, 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 no. This is, this is, even nice. this is actually nicer than Moe. This is nicer than Moe. Nice yeah, it's nicer. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna open it. I'm going to pop it. Yeah, you're going to pop the bottle. It's the 100 episode. Oh, my God. 100 episodes. So, you know, you might You might want to tune into the YouTube, you know, because, you know. The visuals. The visuals. The visuals of the champagne. Just put it everywhere. Yeah, yeah, please don't be spilling it. I got this. But you know what? I don't miss drinking. Oh, you, you don't know, miss it? I realise that I'm naturally like a drunk person. <laughs> but how does how does yeah. it make you feel? Like how do your insides feel? Oh my god, I've lost so much weight. Okay, yeah. I've lost so much weight yeah. yeah. Off my car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, I just I feel good, but like the only thing is when I'm out and like everyone is drunk, I'm very aware of how drunk yep. everyone is. I don't mm-hmm. like that though. How does that feel? Because I hate when people are drunk and I'm it's sober. It's a lot. It's a mm-hmm. lot. It's a lot. And it's just like, mm-hmm. I'm just gritting my teeth. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, if I was drunk, I wouldn't feel this way. Yeah. Like, like, I hate you right now. That's, you know, right. when I go out, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I keep drinking. Because it takes me a lot to, for me to get drunk. Oh. So I keep buying, I keep buying. And, but it's breaking my bank. I, can, I can't be going out and spending you bare money. You know me, I was the tequila shot girl. But this is yeah, Rosie yeah, That is me. That's mm-hmm. Rosie too. As soon as I see two tequila. Shots, two yeah, 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 yeah. That is me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I still do that, which yeah. is really bad. For someone who stopped the drinking. Drinks. No, I'm still buying people drinks. You need right. to buy them I'm lemonade. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> You did a good job. I did 
okay, it's okay, it's okay. 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 Okay, so we what are we chasing to? We're chasing to a hundred more episodes. A hundred more Woo! episodes. Yes. We're chasing to more um, money. More money. More money. More money. Uh, we're chasing yes. to Iman, a podcast coming back. Yeah. Yes, amen. Uh, we're chasing to <laughs> just happiness. Yeah, happiness. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, enjoy. Joy. Yeah. And consistency yeah. in the gym. Oh my god, yeah, and openness. Cause yes. My, the word of my year, this word is openness. 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 My early twenties. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same, yeah. Same. same. Guys, let's let's move forward. Yeah, let's yeah. move forward. Yeah. Like, people still own that. People oh, are still yeah. it is the lesbians. The lesbians. Oh, the <laughs> lesbians. And the Chelsea boots. This the Fedora and the Chelsea boots. That was like in my early twenties. No, nah, the lesbians are still doing it. They are still it's doing the it. The lesbian world is fascinating. What else? Is <laughs> What else do you guys have? Listen, I feel in hetero ghetto world. Oh, yeah. what, what's it? What are the heteros leaving behind? What are the men? <laughs> I'm leaving men behind. No, I'm done. Like, no, everyone is like finding somebody somehow. I don't know mm-hmm. where from, but mm, mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. What are they leaving behind? I left alcohol. <laughs> That's uh-huh, great. Uh-huh. I left like just old flames. Okay, okay. okay. So, no, if anyone retexts you, you're not oh, having it. It happened already. So, what, well, New Year? Why did they do oh, that in a New Year? Like, basically, my New Year started November oh. 5th. Why did New Year start? You know your birthday when you oh, was guys, so Iman drunk. was drunk at oh, her birthday. <laughs> we, got, we got there late. We got there, what, about 12? Oh, yeah, we got there, yeah, yeah quite late. We finished at 12 or something. Oh. You were already drunk when we got there. I looked back at my birthday and I said to Pat, I was like, this is the worst day. I hated it. No, I love my party because mm-hmm. I loved everyone that I loved was there. Right, and I yeah. Was like so in awe, and I was just so happy. Mm. But I hated my character. I hated how drunk I was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I really, yeah. and I really went out of my way to enjoy it. Because you guys remember my twenty fifth. Oh, you, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You was very drunk then as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was silly enough to be. To be honest, I started drinking quite late in my life, but mm-hmm. I was just like, no, I hated this. I was like, this is not for me. So you haven't like, drunk since that day. So I haven't drunk since that day. Okay. I was like, I was like that day, I was like, I woke up, I I banged my head. Oh my god. So, do you, so at my party, what happened was, yeah, you was in the booth. I was like, oh my god, I need to throw up. I need to throw mm-hmm. up. The girls r- ran over to the toilet. I made myself throw up because I, mm-hmm. I can't physically throw up, so I have to make my yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. Made myself throw up, went back to the, and then everything was spinning. And then I just banged my head on the table and <laughs> conked out. To oh, rest of the night. wait, hold on. We saw you in the booth. Yeah, we yeah, saw you in the booth. Like, That's, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Booth was yeah, yeah, on top yeah, 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 yeah. And then, <laughs> and then I was like, I woke up the next day and I was like, I'm never doing this again. I was like, there's like, Three things I'm never doing again. Mm. Like, I'm not doing it for a while. Mm-hmm. And like drinking was one of them. Right. 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 Okay. So
I want something that I want it to mean something. You you try to but you know what? Yeah, I think intentional for me is a word for twenty twenty two. Yeah, okay, you okay. Want things to be intentional. I want it to yeah. be intentional. Do you know what sex? <laughs> something. Do you know what sex here clouds mm-hmm. judgment? Sex takes away clarity, and only if it's you, good. Only if it's good. Yeah. Only if it's good. Yeah, only if it's good. Yeah, only only if it's good. good. But like, it wasn't like. I, I didn't have sex with anyone new last year. Mm. I, like it wasn't like I, I I went on one date last year, mm-hmm. and that was it. Like I, it wasn't even that. It was just like it feels like almost like men see it as a prize almost. Like what having sex? Yeah, like, having sex. Okay. It just felt like it's a prize because you took me out on a dice date. And oh, like, yeah. oh, going back oh. to what that boy, what was his name? Was Kojo. 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 And yeah. he was saying that oh, like if you take a girl out, you sh- you deserve to have sex. Like yeah. no, that's not it. Like, no. And it just and I wasn't I wasn't enjoying the casual the, the, the casual, casual thing. Class. It's not for everyone. Do <sighs> you know what? Yeah, I always say everyone should do it. Everyone should do it. Everyone, everyone should do what? The casual link up? Like, yeah. Have yeah, a casual link up. Yeah, have, I think. Do you know what? It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. But I was yeah. the, oh, do you know what? I hate to work so much. But anyways, I was thinking <laughs> the timeline. Like, people confuse it. Like, trying to find a word to describe casual sex. They were like, you have, Oh, it was like yesterday. or so two yesterday. Some something. was like, oh, I don't know how you can, like, have casual sex with someone. I saw that. Casual dating. Not casual and not go out on dates. And yeah, and I saw and I that. Like, but if you're having casual sex, it's just... It's just sex. It's just, it's sex. just sex. This is the thing. I feel like people are really conflating the two. Like, it, one is just sex and yeah. one is dating. But you know what it is? It's because there's so many things nowadays. There's a the talking stage. There's this, there's that. There's but what, what's, a what's a talking stage? stage? I don't believe in that. Yeah. Marry me. There's no, there's no talking stage. And that's it. Where's the talking stage? Wait, there's no dating. There's no, exactly. I just feel like all these things are stripping the fun out of dating. There's they dating are. and there's a like, relationship and there's marriage. Yeah. That's the three. I that's honestly it. say just take me to Paris on the first day. And let's see. And why not? If that's what you're on, that's yeah. what you're if on. If that's what you're into, then yeah. Let's just go yeah. for it. Like, yeah. if you want me, let's just go for it. I hope you, any man you have headed, you've headed here first. You want the man? <laughs> Paris is the first date. And you know what? I hate Paris. I, mm. Basically, my theory is if a man that I like takes me mm-hmm. to Paris mm-hmm. and makes me fall in love with that city, I'll fall in love with Paris again. That's my theory. So, so you are living in, in a bit of a fairy, fairy tale world. Uh, yeah, I do live yeah. in a fairy tale. Yeah, but it's I okay. It's romantic. Okay, okay. We, 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 we love that for you. <laughs> Hopefully it's going to come true. It hasn't worked for me. That's why I've also left that behind. It's time to start living in the real world, maybe. Yeah, I, know. I need to, time to, start. I need to like, come up my bubble. Do you know what? We're praying for you. No, we are, stop we, it. We're praying Some for you. Some girl said that to me. Yeah, t- please. <laughs> so was t- Tell t- us what she <laughs> said. So basically, I posted on my story, my mood board, yeah, mm. for the year. And me and my friend Sandra somehow believe that we're going to beat the love of our lives this year and be engaged yeah. by the end of the year. Did and you then, feel like that last year as well? No, last year, last year I was not a man at all. Okay, okay, okay. Last year I was just focused on like money and the bag mm. and work. So that's probably why I didn't really date as much. Mm-hmm. Like... I, I had like people come to me like there was mm-hmm. this guy yeah oh my god he said he's the amex he said here's my house i hadn't even done anything mm-hmm. i literally just sat pretty and thought, this mm-hmm. is all yours mm-hmm. and i was just like no i was <coughs> like no you didn't want it why i wasn't attracted to him and fair, i'm big fair. on like personality and being attracted to someone mm-hmm. money doesn't do anything for me mm-hmm. wow it actually doesn't because so what if the pal- <laughs> <laughs> What, what, if the okay the, <laughs> Stay out of this okay? what if the person had the personality the looks everything yeah but they were broke yeah it's fine are you sure no 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 do you know why i'm a fixer no no we need I'm, to stop doing and I that. Hate we can't it. do potential we can't fall in love with potential oh, we're leaving fixers we're in leaving no in we're leaving no we're, leaving that we're not doing fixing do you know what my um my ex's fiance said, she said, thank you. Why? Because you fixed. Because I fixed it. I got him into a way. Yeah, but are you happy that you fixed it with a woman? Went, for and another, he went, and he's amazing for something so basically, else. basically, you were the girlfriend fluffer. Yeah, I was a girlfriend. <sighs> nah, but I'm not doing that no more. Like have you been a girlfriend fluffer before, Nana? Yeah. Have you been a girlfriend fluffer? Who have you fluffed? Who nah, have I fluffed? Nana hasn't, Nana hasn't fluffed anyone. <laughs> Maybe they fluffed her way. No, Nana ain't <laughs> No, they ain't fluffed nobody. Have you? Have you? Have I fluffed anyone? Mm, no. Nah. nah. How do you not do that? I think that they fluffed me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they have something so as well. Collectively, they fluffed me, I think. Yeah, I, think I feel like, like women do that a lot. And because we're like, maybe because our, ma- our masculine energy sometimes it can yeah, be. My, I have more, a lot of masculine yeah, energy. Yeah, more, mm-hmm. more. I'm trying empowered. to be more feminine. I'm really struggling though. Do you know what? You I need to be like yourself, it's a, it's, a, it's a personality thing. I'm like, you've you got to be yourself. You seem quite dominant and you like, yeah. you know what you want. And I that's. Hate it. No, no, you got to be yourself. I Someone is going to be able to handle all of it. Opening a door? My friend was like, why the hell did you open the door? And I'm like, you open it for the man. 
Like I just walked in. Did you see that? that? You opened the door for the man. <laughs> so you went for the man. Open the door for I him. I'm <laughs> embarrassing. No, no, and you that. can't open the door for the man. I opened the door for the man. But you know what? If some man, they're gonna they're gonna walk through. They're gonna shoot me through. They're gonna love it. I, like, I just Why not? Want to come in and actually like take away my masculine energy. No, but that can't. That's that's that's, that's, that's not you gonna are. happen. That's yeah, you are. you're just kind of. You're gonna have to find someone who's a bit more. Like more masculine than me. Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, I feel like people think that masculinity and dominance are the same. I feel like you're dominant. I don't feel you're masculine. No, no, no. But no, but yeah. that's what. People, but I don't think I'm dominant. But that's what people they, um, attribute it to, though. They do, yeah. but it's not. I don't. I feel they do different things. No, I'm not dominant. You know, but I said, where's I'm the masculinity? I'm not really. I'm not seeing the masculinity. Not, 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 not me. Do the masculinity today. <laughs> <laughs> I think it means like lots of different things because yeah. Oh, we're talking about. We're talking about sexually. Oh, both. Oh. Sexually, I'm not a pillow princess. We love to see that. Dominant either. I guess I'm like in between. Mm. Your first, like Nana. What's that? (laughs) Versus both. Both. Yeah. Really? You taking? You give. You give and you take. Receive everything. Mm, it's been so long I have had sex I don't even know anymore but to be, to be fair <laughs> verses gay people use the word verse yeah, to be fair yeah, it's, no, it's no. a gay thing yeah. yeah girl I don't know the lady downstairs is closed oh okay she wow. has a so how long are you planning for that to be abstinence till like till I till marriage no, <laughs> yeah. not marriage because yeah. I hate to say till marriage because you know like I could say that and then beat my person one day and I want to rip your clothes off. Mm. And I think sex is really important. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, I'm mm-hmm. so sorry. Like, the gu- all of my friends that waited till marriage, yeah, they were like, I oh, was so glad I got lucky. Or someone mm. like, oh, oh so no. bad. Especially if they've had sex before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God, I had to teach them. Teach. In marriage. I think it's difficult, point, yeah. Baby. It's difficult to teach. I feel, I feel like it would be difficult for women to teach men. Not a lot of them would be open to hearing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Men don't, they think they're doing it right. It's yeah, like, oh, I feel nothing, bro. You're biting it. Yeah. Biting. Hey. No, but a lot of, I've had a lot of men aren't good at the good old cunnilingus. They're, oh my. <laughs> they're not. They're not. <laughs> 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 I don't know what it is. Do they get confused when they're down there? Do you know? I, I feel like a lot of men just don't know what the clip is. Also, yeah, they don't know what the yeah. clip is. That's the thing. Like. I will give you a tutorial. Yeah. I'll be like, it it's here. But do you know what? I'm not going to lie. Some women don't know what it is either. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've been a few women that, that I don't know what it is. I have masturbated. I have a lot of friends that have masturbated. And but do you know if the day should they masturbated? Okay, I'm, but when you wash your down there, you don't know where things are. No, but like... Hmm? You maybe know you maybe they're really familiar with themselves, but not other people's. Yeah. Like, you know when you wash down there, you're not there for pleasure. You're just of washing. Course, but yeah. you're, so maybe but you should be able to feel, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's a difference, like... No, I remember taking a mirror and looking down there. Like, I'm not going to lie. I, I did that too. Yeah, I, got, I, yeah, did I did that. the mirror. Yeah, no, I did that as well. I had the citizenship in school. That's what yeah, I yeah. Oh, that's yeah. citizenship. That's yeah, the citizenship. That's the yeah. lesson I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. And then they were like, take a mirror when you get home and go and look down there. I looked to myself in the bathroom. I looked down there and I was like... Damn, she pretty. Yeah. <laughs> she it must really it must it must it's pretty guys. I got, I got a, <laughs> look at her selling it. She pretty. Yeah. It's been a while, so it's even prettier. I hear it. So, no. you're, gonna, so you're gonna for as long as until you meet somebody that you actually Until I meet someone that's like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Right. Mm. Like when I feel mm-hmm. ready, like when she's awakened. Yeah. Because like, I went on a day, when was it? Was it before New Year's Eve or after? I can't remember, mm-hmm. but I was like, this year I'm open to dating, right? Mm-hmm. Open the chapter up, yeah. Okay, so when that guy approaches you, what are you looking for? What says, okay, yeah, I'm going to go on a date with you? Like, what do they have, what boxes do they need to tick that is worthy of the thing? Girl. So what about their personality we, bangs? We need to go back and forth. We need to be able to go back mm-hmm. and forth. If, okay. If, like, the conversation dries up here, yeah, it's most likely you, because I'm great at talking to people. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. my whole job is talking to people. You are good at talking to people. So it's just like, I've, you've got to have a great personality. Mm. So then I can spend an hour or two with you on a day, mm-hmm. confident, taller than me. Oh God, mm-hmm. dates for short men. It's so embarrassing <laughs> because I'm wearing. We're not hat shaming here. Like, but the thing is, you're not even you're not even tall. Shame. Exactly, I'm not tall. Dad, yeah, so good to be taller than me. <laughs> it's actually Where are you finding these? Uh, no shame. Hinge, Wait, hinge. I've been on chain hinge. How's it going on hinge? I delete that app more times than I see it's my sick. dad. Do you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm so like, I actually want to go and hinge to see what's going on because all the no, stories I keep so hearing. But it's the so thing is, if I'm going, everyone's going to see me and we're like, oh, it's on Twiggy's girlfriend on yeah, hinge. Yeah, but yeah. I probably want to go on there just to see. I'm, I'm going to be involved with the gossip. My theory, like I was so anti like dating apps and stuff like mm. that because I was like, 
why? Like, I'd rather meet someone in, in person, person mm. or through a friend. Like, I'm like, I love it. Do like you know what's mad though? The gays are happy to go on the dating sites, oh but God, the heteros are just like, yeah, mm, no. And it's like, yeah. oh, it's, it's embarrassing, or I don't want other people to see me on there. What? But they're there for the same reason it's you are. It's embarrassing when it's like, when, or like when you see someone that you know, yeah, okay, and they match you. So, what I always do, like, because a lot of my male friends are on there, yeah. I especially match with them, and I'm yeah. like, lol, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or lol, what the hell does this mean? One of my friends put up on a deep voice with a voice note feature. I said, this ain't you. Bro. I'm screaming. I'm Do you know what? Yeah, I was on. it's performative as well. That's what yeah. I was thinking about. Like, online dating is really performative. You're going to give the best version of yourself mm-hmm. or yeah, even lie and pretend. Issue. Like, you give the best version. Yeah. And that was the guy that I went on a date with. Like, he gave a different version of himself. Mm-hmm. So when he was on a date, it was like, this isn't you. So right. the person that you spoke to on the phone wasn't the same person. It wasn't the same person. So like, was did he fall flat in person? Yeah, it was so flat. It oh. wasn't really giving. This is why yeah, um, it's not good to message um, girls on behalf of your friend, um, for your friends. Yeah. Oh, I've done it once. I was messaging basically. Oh my, my friend God. wanted to DM someone, yeah, mm-hmm. and then so I was like composing messages for her mm-hmm. to send, but it was t- it was me and it wasn't it her was in it. And I think that. Yeah, when it's time talking on the phone. Yeah, it's it's not the same. It wasn't giving. Yeah. I can do the conversation. I can do all of that. But if you can't give it back, then there's just no point spending time Mm. together. Mm. Oh, no. At this point, my mom said, if you find a man that breathes, it's okay. (laughs) A man that breathes. Do you know what? Do you know? I think a lot of women, yeah, that are vocal about the fact that they want to find a man or husband get a lot of, like, stick because they're vocal about it. Like, oh, your money, your man hungry. But it's like, my thing is, like, having a partner... Someone to share your life with shouldn't be a bad thing to look at. No, if that's what you want, because that's what, uh, what I you think want. it's okay to aspire to want yeah. a babe, a husband, like, a spouse. Like a certain job. Why is that like? Why is yeah. it not seen as something? You and know, like, like that? I hate when people are like to me, "Oh my god, like look, like take time, love yourself." I love myself. Yeah, mm. yeah. I'll work with yourself. I've worked to myself. Mm. Yeah, I want someone to get your money. Yeah. I've got my money. Yeah. I want cuddles. You, you want cuddles. The money is not cuddling you at night. Cuddles. Yeah, I, babe, I'm a simple babe. If a man was like, come, we just cuddle. I'm dead. <laughs> I, I want to sit in front of my sofa mm. and cuddle, and that's it. Mm. That is all I want. I don't want to be flued out. I think I've done the city girl's life. Mm. No, you do want to be flued out. What are you doing? Yeah, I want to be flued out with my boyfriend. Yeah, yeah boyfriend. Yeah, boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, yeah. you need to be flued out. Met, like, I remember when, just before my birthday, the guy basically, the one that I told you, I met this guy, mm-hmm. he basically was like, because Italy's my favourite country. He really looked at my Instagram mm-hmm. stories and took notes of everything. Okay. Mm-hmm. He was just like, um, what's your address? I'm going to send you flowers from Sage Flowers, my favourite florist. He was like, Italy's your favourite country, which it is. Do you, think that's, like, do you think that's weird? Did you weird. did you watch um, Amazon um, thing? Uh, what's it called? Um, Harlem. Harlem. Oh, yeah, that, when, she did, right. when he, when did, he did, that, did the same yeah, thing. No. Well, do you think that's weird? I think that's weird. You what, not going through the Instagram and yeah, see what they like? social media to see what you like. And then, like. and then kind of like... It is a little bit weird. Yeah, like, mm, it's a bit. I feel like I, I get the intention. It, no, but unless you say, oh, I saw that you like this, so I'm doing yeah, this. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Just, yeah. To the T. Yeah. It was like, if it was casually like, oh, I know you like Italian food, but like, should we go out to eat mm. in an Italian restaurant? He said, I know you like Italian food. Do you want to fly to Italy with me? And I will buy you the green bottega bag much. that you like in Italy. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> Do you know what? Actually, so some people are not gonna think it's too much, though. Some people are gonna My love that. Were like you're an idiot. Why did you go? I mean, for the Bottega, I think for the Bottega, you should have taken the Bottega. No, 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 no. You could, you could get your own Bottega. I though. honestly feel like. No, no, no. What's why? Why someone why? could buy a Bottega? Someone could buy a Bottega. Come two grand bag. Common two grand, right? Common. Common. Two <laughs> <laughs> That's a common. No, 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 no. But you know these things like it's all an exchange. Yeah, there's. Yeah, I, I was not attracted to. Do you think that he would have want sex at the end of that? Oh my god, absolutely. I they make investments. Mm. Him and I throw up in my mouth when he tries to kiss me. What? Mm. Why is it? <laughs> <laughs> I, it was, <coughs> but it was the best date I've been on in my entire life. But yeah. I just did not fancy. So friendship? Nah. He no. hired out this um, restaurant in Canary Wharf called Plateau mm-hmm. and Plateau. hired it out the outside mm-hmm. dining bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, we went on a really nice date. Mm-hmm. And there was an awkward bit at the end where basically they bought a like a cake thing over. You know when they bring those tape those plates? It's like, will you be my girlfriend? Type shit. Yeah. Oh my god! I hate that, by the way. And oh he my bought God. one and it, said, and it said happy anniversary. And what's the anniversary? And I was like, oh, I think you bought it to the wrong table. He said, no, this is right. What? Because it's the anniversary of the first day we've met. <laughs> he does. Oh, he's doing no. too much. He's doing too much. Picture, he's moving like a lesbian. Yeah. Yeah. That's how lesbians move, you know. He is a lesbian. Yeah. He's, he's got lesbian spirits. He's got lesbian spirits. Is it? Mm. 
Zimbabwe. Where's he from? What country? Zimbabwe. I heard Zim. Oh, Zim. Do you know? I don't actually know any Zim men. You know. Zim now that I think about it, I know Zim. The Zim women I know are very um, are very um, sexual. Sexual beings. Yeah. 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 This is yeah. why I say to Nigerian men, sit to a poison, you know. Because mm. I know I'm not going to get all that icky, icky, icky shit. But then right. you but then, get icky shit sometimes, but yeah. you get nothing from Nigeria. Nothing. What, what, do you mean, nothing? Like, what do you mean you don't get nothing? You get nothing. In, in what like relationship? Like emotionally unavailable. But this is what I'm saying. That like, this was about to say. Sorry, you're not. You you, you want some of that. You want balance. Do you oh, know what balance. I mean? Yeah. But there ain't no balance yeah. with them. There's no balance with them. They're just emotionally unavailable. Yeah. Or they stay emotionally unavailable. Who Nigerian men? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh god, I actually don't. Do Which know, Nigerian do man have you dated? <laughs> actually, I dated um, a Nigerian man. Really, I have dated a Nigerian man. And how was that? It was from hell. <laughs> But there. De- there was the last guy I ever dated. The last guy really? I ever dated was a Nigerian man. Oh my god! And I think he was chasing me from when I was in like school, and I thought, okay, let me just give him a chance now. Like, I think it was like twenty yeah. or something. I was like, it's let me give him a chance. Ones that you give a chance, yeah, and like, you regret it. <laughs> yeah, and, and I see him, when I see him DLT now. When I see he always screws me all the time. He's a DLT. He goes DLT, but he's not a DLT guy. But he goes DLT. Oh. He's not like he's, he's, he's definitely he's, he's, he's in the wall. He's basically bending oh, the wall at DLT. Yeah, but like. He, yeah, yeah, mad. I remember one time, I one time I went to his house. Okay, basically we start going out, yeah. And then about two weeks into going out, he told me that his ex is pregnant. About two weeks into going oh out. God. And I was like, oh, okay. When were you going to tell me this? He's like, well, uh, you wouldn't going to. How, how, how far How far along was this yeah. woman? She was in the early stages, so a couple weeks. She was okay. a couple oh, okay. weeks. So he was like, the girl's going to keep the baby, whatever, oh, whatever. Okay. Now she's going to be homeless, so she's going to move into the house. <laughs> I'm not laughing at like the homelessness. No, no, no. I'm just laughing at the situation. Can I just say that Nigerian men's lies are like always elaborate. They're never, they're never small. They, and they grow. And the they lies grow. grow. They grow and they the grow and they grow. grow. <laughs> And I remember, I remember one day, like he was like, "Oh, come over." The, the, the girl's not here, whatever. Anyway, I went over there. The girl was upstairs, and we were downstairs. And his mom, it was mum's house. His mum comes in, yeah. says hello to me, and then she didn't like me because I was gone in, and because he had a Nigerian girl pregnant. Right. Then she goes upstairs to see the girls downstairs. She came downstairs and cussed me out. Yeah. <laughs> Why is she cussing you? Why is she like, you as a woman, son? you're a woman, and there's another woman upstairs, she's pregnant. Oh, all this. The she, she just cussed me. Yeah, yeah and, they're very. Um, they, and they're things, she, she, she was in love with her son as well. She was actually in love with her son. Yeah, yeah. there's also yeah. that. Oh. And when I say I, I cussed this woman out, I've never cussed an elder before. Mm, but she had to. That's why he hates me. That's why he sees me in DLT. He's, um, he's, just, he's, just, he's just really angry. Yeah, she and on top it. of that as well, is um, the girlfriend he had before, I remember a couple of girlfriends before me, also came out as a masculine presenting lesbian oh, wow. and we ended up being friends remember our old friend. Oh, we were, wow. so one day we went That's out common. one day we went out yeah and then she still had saying hello to him like we saw we went bowling remember yeah. we went bowling yep, and she said hello day. to him and whatever and then um I was, I was like, how do you know him? She was, that's my ex-boyfriend. This be wait, you was a lesbian. I know about you. And she's like, that's my ex-boyfriend as well. She's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that day. But he me. is a bit, you would think he's gay though if you met him. Oh really? You'd think he's a gay man if you met him. I feel yeah. like my gay dog's quite switched on. Mm. I, I just, so. I feel like I, yeah. Mm-hmm. We're not supposed to have a gay yeah, dog, but we do. Say, yeah. We do. No, no, because yeah. we're not supposed to like judge. From yeah, because yeah. yeah, mm. you know what? Like people will say all the time, like, "Oh, you could be, you could be straight." I remember one time I was doing, I was working with some guy, and I was like, "Oh, didn't you know I'm gay?" He was like, "Oh, no, but people, girls dress like you, so you could be, you could be straight." And I was mm-hmm. like, mm, "That is fair." So you can't really judge on how it's somebody true. appears and it's not even for me. It's not appearance. It's like personality, but then you're shocked sometimes. Mm. Thrown. <laughs> we was okay, so we're having a conversation because there's that like, TikTok going around. It's like. um you can't have more than like four siblings and one person has to be gay basically. Not okay. All siblings, not all siblings has is straight. Do you know, yeah, do you know yeah, I was just about to one. say, but my siblings are straight. I was like, hold on, wait. You're I'm, the gay yeah, one. Yeah, I'm gay. <laughs> 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 you know how funny that is. <laughs> I was saying, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't be all straight. So we, I started to look at my family, but my family is weird because no one's really come out. Like my sister's coming to stay with me next month, mm. and she was like to me, "Oh, I'm coming with my girlfriend," and I loved that she said that mm. and just didn't feel the need to. As a girlfriend, as a relationship. Yeah. As in she oh, that's so like, nice. I literally loved that she just said it and yeah. just never had to explain herself. And I've always been like that with my siblings. I'm like. Don't have to explain myself to me. I'm not mm. like our parents. Mm. Are they like Gen Z? They're like Gen Z. Gen yeah. Z are different. She, oh my god, so Gen different. Z are so she different. She was like to me, oh, um, 
Like, where are you gonna sleep? I was like, you can have my beds. Yeah. You can have my beds. So I was like, have a good time. <laughs> she's, 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 this is my best style. <laughs> she's there, you. Like, no. yeah, have a good time, enjoy yourself type vibe. So then we started looking at like with my friend's family and like the little kids. Mm-hmm. And then one of the kids were like, he probably's gonna be gay, you know? Yeah. Like he's very like, you should, people would say like you could tell from kids quite a young age. You can we you know yes you say yeah. that but yeah. yes the time, yes but the thing is about him his mom is so homophobic. She's old school. Yeah. She's no, but do you know our parents? Do you know to yeah, some extent they, they mean? No, they are homophobic. They still are homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> even, if it's like, even if it was like subtle homophobia, yeah. it's still yeah. homophobia. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not just trying. Do you know? Yeah. Like one time we saw, we was in Westfield. We saw the boys with makeup. The uh-huh. makeup boys. And mum was like, "Oh, look at them." And I said, "Mummy, I know them. Please, can you relax? Yeah. But look at their makeup. It's it's not nice. Because yeah, but you know, <laughs> just like you, but you. Know. I said, "No, that, that's sad. That's who they are. I mean, leave them." And I came over and said, "Hello, whatever." She's looking at me like, "You really know these people." <laughs> Yeah. She's like, yeah, but but the thing is, my mum is like, she's she's. Uh, I think that she's doesn't have bad intentions. No, she just, yeah. yeah, she doesn't. I mean, they're not trying to like torch you in it. Like, they're not trying to set you on yeah. fire. Mm. My dad uh, during the Christmas yeah when we, we had <laughs> Christmas Day, and I was like, oh, who's your favorite child to to my parents? And mm. my mum, my mum was like, none of you. Look, I'm. She she hates us. She's sick of us. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> my dad was like, oh, it used to be you, but it's not you anymore. And then he was like, oh, it's my sister. He was on my sister. My, my sister. Let's not even get into it. <laughs> she was a bad beach child. She's the bad. She still is the bad beach child. And I was like, it's because I'm not straight. He was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because you're not straight. I was yeah, like, yeah. Just like that. Just like that. The yeah. When, when, when people when yeah. people say that their parents are homophobic, I don't judge their parents. I yeah, don't judge their, yeah, like, yeah. Just, I just yeah, think it is, yeah. My mum, I don't know whether she is or she probably is homophobic, mm-hmm. but because um, she hasn't been exposed to it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like the first time my parents will be exposed to it probably my wedding. Because everyone's mm. coming. The makeup boys. Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. The gays are going to be there. But the thing is, even them, they, do you know, they've been exposed to it, but they don't tell you, you know. Mm. They don't tell you because there's so many people that have come out to their mums that are also, but we all have those feelings, but you have to suppress it. Like, yeah, like a lot of parents. A lot that. of people have told my me their mums have said that. My mum said that to me. I'm like, so why are you bad? <laughs> my mum has queer friends and she would be like, you know, you should just get married to a man and you can do your thing on the side. Mm. <laughs> just to yeah. get married? Yeah. yeah. Oh, to a man. Wait, wait, guys, have you seen that couple on TikTok? I don't know if you see it. I've come, I don't know why, how I came across <laughs> this here. So it's this white girl and this black guy i've seen it with the white baby i've seen it no no, no. no. he's gay and she's he's a lesbian gay. yeah no, he's, he's he's not gay he's what's the word but she's a lesbian she, she's very, quite he's quite effeminate he's feminine but he's not at the same time i don't but know it's weird one so, like, so basically, he's got locks he's right he's the one with locks yeah so he's a feminine man yeah and she's basically she's masculine yeah also they're in a relationship and they're in a relationship and someone said you the cheat code to heaven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally, those relationships yeah. happen more than more really? often than we know. You yeah, know. yeah, but they do happen. Yeah, they do. They do they happen. Like, they like people like so many different things. You know, mm. like people like when you see yeah, you see some like hardcore you know studs dating some really effeminate like gay men. And yeah. they like it. And they like it. I they saw like um it. I saw that other day a relationship. There was a tr- it's a trans man mm-hmm. and the trans woman together. And that I feel like that happens quite a lot. No, that, well, this was I'm not gonna lie. It was a, it was a burn on was a sex. Was a sex but I've never seen it be that way before. Like, do you know what I mean? She was penetrating him. Some, sometimes normally they went more straight. I don't know, but I've never seen it before. But it was interesting. It was so interesting to There's see. There's so many different There's types so, of relationships. Just, but a lot of trans people do end up being together, though. Yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah, a lot of trans people There's do. There's so many different couples that um, I just feel so boring because I'm so straight. <laughs> don't, Listen, don't be. Don't, don't, feel, be, don't be bored. But, don't if, feel, if, but if you feel like, mm, you should go. <laughs> if you feel like it, you should go. I've dipped. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you dipped to the lady pond, have you? Tell us about that, then. I've how dipped was, how, the pond. How was your experience? I could not date me. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> But what is your, date, what's, your well, what's your type of woman? Like, oh my god, very feminist. Oh. Like we were talking about like what our future Hindus were like. I was like, if you don't give me a bad view, you're a fat ass and some titties on mm. my head. So basically, both of them the same thing. I basically that's, that's, that's the problem. Right? You I you could never be in a relationship me. with you. I couldn't be in a relationship with me. Yeah. But I could, you know, no. I could eat me. But, <laughs> yeah. but that's what I'm saying. Everyone that dips, their types is always femmes. Don't you think? That's what yeah. I said. They're always types always femmes. Yeah. yeah, no. And I said in another podcast, people said that nay, it's not. Yeah, no, well, it's true. Though. Well, you had it here. <laughs> like everyone, I have friends that have all dipped. And mm, every little fems. Mm, yeah. It has. You, I need the masculine representing babes to step it up. I need you guys. <laughs> step up. I'm happy for the fems, you know. I'm but happy but for you know you. what it is? It's because, like I said, I have masculine energy. Mm. I'm 
tell me that if you're not a man. Mm, okay. Do you get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. I just don't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a man, a man loves men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, really? loves men. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, how, out of ten, how would you rate your experience with the woman when you dipped? Oh my god, ten. <laughs> you said ten. Oh my god, ten. So would you say that it was better than with a man, or just different? I'm trying to think about like the, the, the best, sex the best I've ever had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's still a ten. <laughs> You hear the we hair, love, we love She loves sea. men, but the sex with the woman. Do you know what it was? Yeah, the o- like the only thing that is stopping him being better than mm. her is because he didn't eat me out. The cunnilingus, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. He not fall short. Do you know what it really yeah, is? All with cunnilingus, yeah. 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 Well, it has to be because we don't have a. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I need to go plastic, got a plastic one, <laughs> a, yeah. a detachable one only. Yeah, well, penis is great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I wouldn't agree, but uh, that was a little offence. We'll see. Really? I'm not. I'm, yeah. not, I'm only thirty. I haven't lived. You haven't lived. Yeah. You haven't lived. No. What do you mean? I haven't lived. You have, do you think you have enough, enough penis? No, not really. Wait, no, no, you've had penis. Yeah. Why am I shocked? It was dead though. Was it dead? How many times have we done it? Three times. And all three times. Was it? Was, was it three or one? Like no, why gay? gay? No, it's three different guys. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> yeah. Right. I had to try. I was like, let me try a black guy, mix this guy, and a white guy. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. Hold on. I didn't know you had white D. Oh my god, you did white D. Have you had white? Have you had white D before? I can't remember. You have some white D before? Yeah, I like mine black. You like your black? Yeah. I've never had white anything. I would say that one was the worst experience. I'm not saying. Yeah, but I'm not saying because it was white. I have so many questions. It was uncircumcised. Have you been uncircumcised before? No, never. I stay with mm. I don't think I've seen uh, that. Do you know what? Before. I don't think, I don't my, think I've my, seen I don't one. think my sister's going to mind, but my sister's dating a white guy and he... The sex is amazing. He seems really nice. Yeah. He's really nice. Do you know what? My so friends can't... that have dated white men have all been like, they're very well equipped mm-hmm. and it's good. Yeah. It's real good. Yeah. And they yeah. do everything. Yeah. yeah. They, they do, do everything. Every, ah, they, oh, they not. They are not. To, be, to be, be honest, they all are my nasty. friends with white men are, yeah. They are. I'm not going to lie. They are nasty. Yeah. My friend was like, I've never done certain things. Mm-hmm. And my sister was like, like, this man will just be eating me for hours. But do you yeah. think that, like, do you think, yeah, some black women might be more open to experimenting these nasty things with these white guys because they don't care about what they think about them as yeah, much so as what a black, guy, a black man would. would. You be, like, would they be more scared to like, you know, do certain things? Maybe. I've never thought about it that way. Because mm. I feel like it's, but I feel like with all, like when I was in my long-term relationship, it took a while to experiment. Because mm. like, black, black guys back in the day, oh, don't eat. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, when I met him, he was like, I will never eat you out. Mm. And I was a virgin at the mm-hmm. time when he met me. I was like, he was like, and I was like, oh, okay, like, I don't understand. That. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, but she was a virgin. She didn't yeah, know, she didn't know though, any yeah. better. Yeah. She didn't know any better. I didn't know yeah. any better. Thank God for knowledge. <laughs> I experienced. <laughs> I literally thought that sex was just like something that men enjoyed. Like, but then I'm like a new generation. I don't know. I, I had my sexual awakening almost. I was like, no, I, I like sex Possible. and I want to enjoy this. How old were you when you had your sexual awakening? I think it was like. 21, 22. Okay. I, yeah. him, I want to enjoy this as well. Mm-hmm. So we are going to do some certain things that you said you're not going to do, but we are going to switch it up. Yeah. And that's when I realized I was a freak. And then I was mm-hmm. like, yeah. This freak is- leak. Freak leak. And I was like, yeah, he was like, this is too much for me. Mm. <laughs> No, like, the, how could that be too much? No, but some guys are t- a bit intimidated by the nasty stuff. Mm. Do you know? Yeah, 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 hundred percent. I think some guys are intimidated. But that's the thing. That's why I see like when it comes to like queer guys, they're more like open to be especially bisexual freak, guys. Especially bisexual. Do you know, you need to find yourself a bisexual man. I'm not really joking. The, the probably I, the I best. There was a bisexual guy who um, I met in Paris. I went mm-hmm. to Paris. I met him, and I thought he was gay. I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, he's definitely gay. And then the last night he came up to me and he was just like, oh, where are you staying? And I was just like, I'm staying here. And he was just like, let's go back to yours. And I was like, but you gay. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you gay? Mm-hmm. And he was like, no, I'm bisexual. And I was like, I don't know why that caught me off guard. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't know how I feel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how I feel. And yeah. How to feel. And I, did, I was just like, I excuse, I like, yeah. Do you know? I feel like a lot of women get they don't know how to they can't because I don't think you expect men to be bi first of all. Yeah. But but there's lots of bi men. Yeah, there's so bare many bi men. So many and it because before I didn't believe they were bi. No, they are when definitely guy, bi. Especially like yeah, when they no. tell me they were bi, I'd be like, no, this guy's no, gay. You just don't know it. Yeah. No, but bi. there's 
a lot of bi guys. I don't think I don't know. I don't think women like necessarily process it beforehand. Mm. Like, oh, I might be with a bi man or whatever. They just feel like they're gonna be a straight yeah. man. And that's that. He literally said to me, "You're the one that got away." He's like, "You were the love of my life," and I was like, "Okay, no." <laughs> <laughs> he, might, he might be serious. He might be serious. No, he's serious. No, he, he, is. he actually lives in New York because it was during Fashion Week. So he Ooh, lives in New York. And he Fashion Week, hello. Saying, like, come to New York. He's like, "You've been with me in my loft," and I'm just like. Mm-mm. All these men show me energy, but it's never the men I want. Man said lofty, mm, yeah, lofty. Yeah. It's never the men I want. No. Oh, Do you know what? This is going to be the year for you. Yeah. Do you know why? Because we started it like this. It and that girl's been praying for you, so. <laughs> yeah, the girl's been praying for you. <laughs> Hold tight, the girl. First prayer point. You know, who I sent you the prayer? The first prayer point. You know what? She's not even your friend. Yeah, this babe literally came. It came you know when it comes like a request? It's mm. not even a yes. Oh. Yes. And you don't follow her. Like, I don't follow her. She said, I've been praying. And I said, no. Because my prayer point isn't even that. So why mm, is it yours? Yeah. It's weird. I just think it's weird because it's like, all the men that I want don't want me. Mm-hmm. And all the men that want me. Want Do you me. move to men? I've never done that. You don't shoot your shot? Who was saying Why? this the other day? Someone said this the other day that you need I'm to move to men. You need to move to men, you know. Because you're just going to get the guys that yeah, you don't want. Yeah, you have to, because you know what you want, yeah. so you have to move to them. I know, but I don't like rejection. Do you know what? Yeah, yeah I, I, I would have thought you'd move to men, you know. Really, because of my masculine energy? No, because you're confident. <laughs> no, because no, no, you're quite confident. Because <laughs> you're confident, yeah. I, like, when I'm like in the dance, I mm-hmm. have like, tried it before. Mm-hmm. But I don't like rejection, and I don't like... It's like, mm, let me see if I like... like you know, Listen, like, rejection is character building. I'm telling you, it's thick character skin boy. Gives you that thick skin. You get more confident after you jump up no, from yeah, the, yeah, 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 you get more confident. After you come up for jobs. You yeah, know yeah. I mean? more confident. I've definitely done that with jobs, but like, when it comes to men, I tell that rejection. Nah, you need to move to them because you, you don't, you know what you want in it. It's this guy that I like but that one. The thing is, yeah, because I said I don't really go by looks. It's mm-hmm. very hard to like just judge someone by their personality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But like. I always say the guys that are the loudest in the club, mm-hmm. they're not the one for me. Mm. You don't know Zonto Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> the Zonto Warriors. Jeez, do you think that, that we, we... like, not like that. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Because I'm about that, to say, yeah. Sweating. And... No, 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 no. no. Just, imagine your man is... You know, I would deny you. Do you know Zonto in the middle? Do you know what? Twiggy loves it when I dance in the middle dance. No, does she? <laughs> she loves... She, she'll, be, she'll, she'll be like... She'll be like, she'll be like she'll be, go, Ross! Go, Ross! Oh, yeah! She lo- yeah, I've seen she that. Like, when we're at home, she's like, Ross, we need to go at Queen's Hearts. Like, Twiggy loves it. It's just like, about compatibility. Twiggy loves, no, Twiggy loves it. Like, she when loves I saw it. the Jamaica Oh, stories, she's loving it all, mate. And she was right there, dance... I said, yeah, that's Twiggy. Yeah. Oh, when she was doing the dancing dance competition. The yeah. yeah. You two are meant to be. I would have... Yeah. Like, I, the old yeah. me would have done that. New me, I can't. Oh, no, Twiggy's here for a good time. I'm here for, like, a vacation. Mm. Like, we don't leave the room. Vacation. I know we did. We're not spending one um, thing about me. I'm <laughs> not we have to leave the room. No, 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 room. no. I will definitely leave the room to explore, mm-hmm. but like, I need like at least three, four days where it's just, yeah. In the bedroom? In the bedroom. Wow, it must be a bit of a. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Would you go for it, Anya? No, I'm a homely man. Really? Go for it. I'm a very good Christian. You are not wholesome at all. I'm so wholesome. No. This is why I came with my long dress. She was in long dress. dress. (laughs) You look wholesome, but you're not wholesome. I don't think Iman is wholesome. No, she does. You think she was wholesome? I don't think she's wholesome. If Iman didn't speak and she just entered the room. No, if I saw Iman's Instagram, I wouldn't think she's wholesome. I wouldn't think she's wholesome. Obviously, when you see Iman in movements, you know that she's not wholesome. So if you see TikToks and stuff, she ain't wholesome. No. A lot of guys say that to me. They're like, "You looked like you were so innocent." You're not. I don't feel your pictures look innocent though. I feel like if I you saw and she didn't open like, her mouth, you wouldn't think she's yeah, like yeah, a mom. Maybe, maybe. I don't because know. the first thing about my mouth is like, "Hey, <laughs> <laughs> what did I do?" No, but you've got such a great personality. That's, That's no, men don't think it. <laughs> men are weird anyway. <laughs> Men, men are strange beings, though. I so. still, I'm really trying to get, to, like, I'm really trying to get into the core of their heads, but at the same time, I just can't. Like, I mm-hmm. asked my brother some questions, but my brother's not a typical man. Like, do you know what? You need a man that's as mad as you, you know? As mad as me. Yeah, I think that's the only way it's gonna work. Let's all both be bad. She needs a man that's as mad as her. No, she doesn't. She don't- you know, no. I kind of want a man that's like. No, you, no, you, you need a you, you, you need Have a man. Have you seen that couple on TikTok yet? Yeah? They're always like they're always pranking each other. No, she doesn't need that. The, no. The, no, 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 not you pranking. Oh, not you pranking. But they're both very outgoing. Yes. Yeah, they're both very outgoing. Yeah, yeah. Outgoing. I, like a, I want a, like a good balance. No, she's like, balanced. But no. if you have some guy that's like always quiet in the corner, I yeah, think she, I think work. she needs a quiet in the corner guy. 
No, I think you need a quiet in the corner. Trust me, but they're not quiet in the corner. Quiet in the corner don't no, like, no, don't do you know like why? Quiet. Yeah, because okay. quiet they in the corner, you don't think they're the mouse. No, it's the ones that like you know, don't talk too much. You know, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but it's 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 men that don't. This is what I'm saying. But that's they what you need. Say everything, but then there's yes. men that talk too much. And that's what you need. That you don't need a mouse. You don't need a mouse. Yeah, I don't want a mouse. Yeah. I, want, mm. I want to like go back and forth. Yeah, Sometimes. the ones that don't talk, don't talk too much, they can go back and forth. In your house, they'll go back and forth with you. I don't like men that gossip. Well, yeah okay or like, like talk like just talk yeah i can't describe it like you don't mean like, like be on twitter like engaging in women's business <laughs> do you know what yeah if i was a straight woman right, i don't women, think men do that. i would date the twitter guys because they're in women's business i literally and i feel like they all talk too much i literally just said this today to my friend's um boyfriend i said i like men with like 400 followers all they talk about is football and that's it but mm-hmm. what if a man likes a woman with 400 followers because a lot of them do. A lot of them don't want their then, girls I, no, it's true. out here. Oh, so how many Twitter followers have you got? <laughs> 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 no, no, no. But here we are, yeah. <laughs> Men have actually said that my Instagram and Twitter makes them intimidated. Right. So and how I'm many like, followers? But how many, but how many followers have you got? I don't even have that many. I'm under 10k. I'm like 6k. Like that is nothing. No, to some people that is a hell of a Especially lot. When they have 400. <laughs> people that have 400. That's a lot. Yeah. Like. But like for me, it's like. And what? But it's not like I'm. What? What makes it weird? Is it just the number of people? No. I think. It's I think your that. Visibility. It's yeah. Your, it's the yeah, visibility. It's that your, you but know, your I've always kept my relationships very like tight lips. I see that about you. Like I mm. literally, no one knows anything. Mm. Like. Not like me, but I have to have one boy. <laughs> do you know, do you know, I'm not going to lie, though. I'm not going to lie, guys. I was planning this year to take down shut all up, our pictures. Shut up, shut up, no, I was actually planning to take down all our pictures. So people come to you and be like, Oh, you guys want to kill The thing is, they can ask me. The pictures are there. People are still asking me for us to together. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like I want to take them all down. I want because people are just too inner. And the thing people is, so not inner. only about not only are they inner, but they also look at your relationship like it's like relationship goals. I don't like. I, I, don't, I, like I don't like goals either. Yeah. I know what. I know what Priscilla and Finny were talking about. Yeah. I know what that guy was talking about. Yeah. You get it. Priscilla Mike. Yeah. Too much pressure. Black music. Oh, black love. Yeah. Do you know what? For me, I'm thinking well yeah how how i put myself on social media like i'll tweet stuff and post like tiktoks about being single people feel sorry for me and people think i don't get man i get man you know Mm -hmm. i get man you know but i like the fact that you think i don't get man Mm -hmm. because it makes it a lot easier because Mm -hmm. then i'll just pop up and i'll be like i'm married that's my Mm -hmm. aim to just pop up and be like i'm married so if you would you post your engagement my, like if no. we, let's say they did a whole video like them once oh, a whole a shebang whole video, no do let's be recorded when they do the roses and no, no, do you want to do you want to say marry me in the background no oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 how would you like to be proposed oh, to that how how would you that's, like to be that's, all, that's also Twiggy's best like to be like on holiday on a beach even if it's this is why you and Twiggy are friends because we're, that's what she's saying she's like by ourselves on holiday yeah it literally has to be by ourselves you could be on holiday and we've got a private like when the Ooh, and then you're like, so you got family friends around? <laughs> no, I feel that. I feel that. I don't want my family and friends. I don't want around, some spectacle. But I would love something like we came back to London and you've organised a party. Or a little, party okay, like, okay, yeah. Yeah. Party. yeah. That is sweet. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't need to have my family and friends around. I don't even need you to ask permission because my mum said any man that comes at this point, if they're brief, <laughs> if, <laughs> if they're brief, it's okay. So you, there you go. You've already got the consent from my mum. Yeah. You know, like, just like if it feels right in that moment, but it can't be with people around. Like, yeah, what is wrong like with the marry me in the background? It's so tough. It's corny. It's corny. It's corny. It's corny. There's two. There's two things I don't like. The play where it's like, "Will you be my girlfriend?" Okay. Do you know what? I, do you know what? I think this is my problem. I like people that think outside the box. Mm. Like, don't just do the typical. It is quite yeah. It's the same thing that everyone typical, else is doing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, don't do typical. Like even a first date. Like I don't like typical stuff. Like. Mm-hmm. What's a typical first date then? A typical is just going out for dinner or somewhere nice. Mm, okay, okay. We could do that on the third, fourth date. Mm. Let's go bowling. Let's yeah, do yeah, fun. yeah. Bowling let's is fun. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Go yeah. let's go yeah. Yeah. Let's do something fun. Yeah. Let's like be competitive and like. So you're like chilled and let loose. Mm. When you're doing, just sit it's too stiff. stiff. Like, you're even scared to eat. Stiff, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're never the eating their wings when. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the start is not stuttering. Yeah, it's just like and yeah, and I feel like the marry me stuff and all of that is just so like mm, it's for the gram. It's all for Instagram. It's for Instagram. I'm not gonna no, lie, the marry me stuff is for gram. One of my yeah. friends got engaged and her man did marry me. She never posted it. 
Did you say she hasn't posted it? Yeah. Not because it's tech, but she was just like, this is a moment for us. Yes. Yeah, he got, so he got a photographer private. for everything. And she's like, yeah, that's my wallpaper on my phone. But. Yeah. Do you know what? A lot, I feel like with social media, engagement um, have got more elaborate because it's all about it's like all showing about it off. Media. Yeah, it's all about, all about showing off. off. It's not really about the moment, and no mm. one. But I feel like back in the day, people used to get on their knees and give a little speech, and yeah. then they say that don't happen no Do more. You know what? I, oh my god, I am gagging for a nice speech about me. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my god, but that's why I want to be proposed to because obviously, yeah. like, obviously, none of them want to be proposed to. No, 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 but but, but no, 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 always but, says but, it. I would have proposed to. I can see you doing it. I'm not gonna lie. I can see Martha doing it. Not in an elaborate way, but like, just like, tell me how much you love me, and give me some bling. Give me a ring. I was like, you are the reason I breathe. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 there has to be a speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah there has yeah, to be yeah, a speech. You don't want a speech. I know. Like Twiggy probably give you a speech. You know. Oh my god, Twiggy Twiggy's not going to propose to me. Twiggy no, no, no. But she was. Lie. She's not going to propose to you. But she can give you a speech. Twiggy's not going to give a speech. No, it's about her she, in that moment. No, no, no. Not in that she's same moment. To. In a no, different, in a different moment. Do you, know, do you know? I told her though. I had to tell her. Okay, once I propose, I need a ring within three months. I had to tell her. Oh, wait, so in the I can't be. Uh, I'm ringless. And she's doing diamond. I mean, that's I'm doing, actually true. Like, that's actually true. The, the, we do have matching rings, yeah. But I bought those. I need something that she want me. Yeah. No, I will get my man a ring. Yeah. Like, when I get engaged, we'll come back. Let's go Cartier, babe. What mm. do you want? Man has to be diamond. Or well, maybe I get. Him I want diamond. Ring. I want. I want. I want. A, I want a bag. <laughs> I want a bag. I want red diamonds. Ooh. No, we want. They want ring. They want ring. No, he Rolex. might want a Rolex. Men, yeah, I feel I like men love. Do you want a Rolex or a ring? I think you bought the Rolex. What about both? What about what? both? Go for it. Both. Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, we've got a wedding to pay for in yeah. Italy. We've got you get married wedding. in Italy, a yeah. destination wedding. Yeah, destination Where in Italy? wedding, 40 people. Where in Italy? I don't know yet. Mm. I don't know. I still get to find the perfect spot. Mm. But I want to hire like a whole villa. Everyone stays there. That's a nice Any kind of, yeah. Friend, like have like a few villas around. Mm-hmm. Everyone comes together. That sounds mm-hmm. beautiful. Really cute and intimate. Keep it moving. Like, yeah. I don't even want to try it. Very Do you know what? Yeah, I don't know what a Congolese trad is like, you know. It's called uh, so basically we have like two trads. We have first the dot. The dot is basically where you come to the house, it's like an engagement. So you're upstairs, he comes in at the door and he's just like, Yeah, I'm here to marry da, 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 da. and the family are like, Okay, so how much? Mm-hmm. And then so we lay down a cl- uh, uh anything, a scarf, a cloth or whatever, and he puts down money and like keeps putting down and the parents are like, keep putting down the money. However much, whatever. <laughs> like I've, I've seen ten grand go down on the floor, basically. And yeah, this is not even towards the, ma- the wedding. No, hey, it's also, for the parents. It's for the parents. <laughs> and then with them, they're carrying gifts, so mm-hmm. like a washing machine, whatever the mum and dad wanted from the list, mm-hmm. they bring. And then they're like, cool. Then they sit in the living room. And it's for me. It's just like it's very weird because you, you, the bride, aren't there, and they're just discussing the rest of your life. Oh, you're not but there. You know you're what? not there. Yeah. The bride's oh. upstairs, and then they're all discussing all of this. As a parent, when I've sacrificed for you, I should get some money. I sh- I, I, I should knew, I need money, plenty like, of dollars. And the but it doesn't work. Of same, we don't get this in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> And I feel like in a lot of cultures that is kind of dying down a bit, it isn't is. it? The traditional mm. stuff. It definitely is. I feel really bad because like I'm not doing it. Because mm. I went to my mum, why? <laughs> I, yeah. feel I was like, also that money could go towards my wedding. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Do you know, yeah. yeah, it's true. You know, well, like my cousin got married a couple of years ago, and the, but the guy didn't pay dowry. Yeah, and all of my my mum, my uncle, everybody was based apart from mum's brother, like he was yeah. her dad. wasn't, but he was just like, but he's quite cockney. He was like, oh, right, Joy, so I'm in. Like, <laughs> he's like, oh, we live in England now. Oh, can't. And my mum was the only F one out of all of them. She's just looking at him like, I don't. She's just so confused because she's yeah. the rest of them are some cockney people. And she's mum was the only F one left. Say it again. She's just like, what? She just, no, she's just like, she's like, but our mother would be. Good. She says she's. Did you grant your granddaughter? You said that yeah. you sent her for cheap. And also on top of that, the guy already has two kids with her, so she was just like, no dowry. Yeah, my, my mom was. My mom yeah, was you like you like it depends what you are, what you have. So for example, I'm the eldest girl in the whole family. Mm-hmm. I've gone to uni. Um, what else makes me? I have no kids. My dowry. So it makes you valuable. Like, I'm, a, girl, <laughs> I'm expensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like any man who comes, they're gonna want the most. Mm-hmm. But I just I don't care for it. And it's you just really want to get your wedding. You wanna, I just want yeah. a nice wedding. Mm. I don't want my man to feel that additional pressure. Yeah, because you're gonna have some pressure from me already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need that extra pressure yeah. from my family. Yeah, and yeah, I don't need all of that. We 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 spoke in a po- in the episode before about whether we're gonna have a trans. But the rules is like, do you know what? Trans. Because there's no really rules the same. So we just make it up as we go along. Yeah. So we can have our version of yeah, what a trans is. Yeah, you have your own version of a trans. I think I'm gonna have a trans. Oh my god, do it and make it your own thing. And yeah. Look, and like, yeah. I just want. I want to wear kente. 
But I don't want to wear it on the white. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, um, we're going to wear all white. No one's going to wear, apparently no one's going to wear shoes at wedding, apparently, according to Twiggy. Oh, Twiggy, yeah. Twiggy said no shoes. Is it going to be on the beach or something? So right? I have this well, she wants it on the beach. Do you, do you know what? We saw a beach wedding in Jamaica. We just, mm-hmm. listen, it was too crum crum. <laughs> It was too <laughs> cool, cool. You know what it's like? I don't know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh it was like, it was lovely to see them get married. But literally, when I said the wedding was over in like 15 minutes, we, we saw, by the time we saw them walk down, uh-huh. walk up the aisle, they said their vows for like three, four minutes. There was no emotion. There was nothing. The groom's shirt wasn't even tucked in properly. Yeah, no. And then it was just too, and we were sitting, we were on the, um, the loungers. Yeah. How dare someone be watching my wedding from a lounger? And they didn't even mind. And we were even in like, we were in like, a stone throw away from them. That's we, were the si- thing, no. we, were, we were basically in the wedding with no, them. No, you were part of the wedding party. On a lounger. Of, yeah. And I was wearing some red shorts and a t- white t-shirt. <laughs> Like, excuse me, it was so cool, cool. Yeah, it no, was, no, no, no. but you know, what? Don't, that's what some can afford. That's what they can afford. But it's put me off beach wedding, and that's what Twiggy was beach I wedding. I honestly say you can have a good wedding for ten grand or less. Yeah, you can. You just have you to can. not be cool, cool about to, it. You have to think mm. strategically. I think because I've worked in events, like you, you get a small budget and you can make shit happen. You can make mm. shit look amazing, and I feel like less is more as well. Mm. They wanted the beach for their aesthetics, but they didn't think about the bigger picture. People no, be there. someone's hotel room is in the background. Everyone's watching oh. from their balcony. That's it's just so bad. Listen, when I, it was even in the part of the beach, I wasn't even oh, was no even nice. I remember when my ex and I went to like Greece, and there was a beach wedding, mm-hmm. and then my ex tried to propose in the back to who? to me. Oh. In the background, and I was like, "How can you do that?" I was like, "What are you thinking?" That is so embarrassing. So everyone could turn around and look at the no, and then you have to say yes, <laughs> and then the rest. <laughs> so you know, embarrassing. Yes. Oh. Do you know yeah. what? Yeah, I haven't been engaged before, but um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was engaged for a day. I was engaged before, but the um, this guy. That I don't think we was even together then. We went together, but mm-hmm. his parents were Ghanaian. Mm-hmm. They came to my house. They did, they did the uh, traditional knocking yeah, bro, the introduction. Wait, 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 they, wait, bought wait. The, they bought the drinks. This is almost engagement. Yeah, yeah we had engagement. we had the, in, the, introdu- the introduction. Babe, you're married right now. I mean, I mean, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard the story no, ever. It, it kind of, I, I'm not gonna lie, slipped my mind away. <laughs> but he's um like you yeah, knocking. Knocking. they did a knocking. Yeah, you need to explore that therapy because I feel like you've. Surprised I suppressed it, yeah. Just really suppressed. I think, hell? and the things I didn't know was how it was gonna happen. So I'm, I'm sitting in my house watching TV, <laughs> and they come with all the drinks. I'm just looking at them, and he wasn't with them. So I messaged him like, "Did you know your parents were coming to my house to do this?" He was like, "They do what?" <laughs> <laughs> so you're married. I was just like, "What? No, no, but there's definitely 100 not married." Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> what happened there? Was that the beach thing? No, he basically. I, that's when I broke up with my ex. I broke up with him. And I was just like, yeah, I just can't do this anymore. Blah, 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 Like, it's not working for me. And he just couldn't get over it. Like, he was just like, how are you breaking up with me? So he spent a few weeks going a bit crazy, like, obsessed with me. Mm-hmm. So he used to just turn up at my mom's house. Just turn up. And I'd just be like, what the... And the thing is, yeah, mm-hmm. my ex, like I said, that Nigerian men are emotionally unavailable. I mm-hmm. date emotionally unavailable men. And he was very emotionally unavailable. <laughs> but when you broke up with I, him... I never saw him this obsessed with me mm-hmm. until we broke up. So then I remember... Sounds this, like right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember this was um, the first time I was like, I'm going to go on my first date. I've been with this man since I was 18. We've been together for six years. Mm-hmm. I'm going on a date with someone else. I was really excited. Wow. I went to Pat's house to get ready. I said, Pat, I'm going to come back afterwards to yours. Mm-hmm. Cool. So I went to Pat's house. I got ready there. And then I ended up going back to a guy's house, but nothing happened. Mm-hmm. I just fell asleep. And then I just remember telling Pat, oh, I'm falling asleep at this guy's house or whatever. Mm-hmm. She's like, yeah, that's fine. And then at 6 a.m., I'm waking up with, like, bare missed calls from my ex. And I was like, oh, my God, what's happened? Like, is there something wrong? And he's called me, he's like, where are you? And I was like, uh. And he's like, I'm outside your mum's house. And your mum said that you're not here. I was like, it's 6 a.m. Did you wake up my mum? He said, I asked your mum where you were. And your mum said, she, you're at Pat's house. He's like, I'm coming to Pat's house to pick you up. I was so... Obviously, sick. you wasn't at Pat's house. I was obviously not yeah. at Pat's house. <laughs> So I get up and I'm like to the guy, oh, I have to go kind of thing. And he's just like, are you okay? I was like, oh, just a family emergency. Go to Pat's house now. I'm like, she's like, I've been sitting outside. Oh, shit, that's what he's saying. Bleep has been sitting outside. <laughs> he's been sitting outside um, for about an hour, just there in the car. And then he was just there like. So looking. hold on, if you come up, he's going to see you. So, the, yeah, you so, say that, so Pat. basically what happened was, 
I, I think I stuck it through the, like, the garden door. Mm. And then I just had to come out and I was like... <laughs> I'm <screaming. laughs> you, know, you're like, you just wake up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> and he was just like, hey. Anyway. anyway, so then he drove me back to my mom's house. Oh, my God. Like, under duress. Oh, God. Anyways, men are bad. Drove me back to my mom's house, yeah. And he was just like, you're not allowed to leave me. <laughs> and he got down and proposed in my oh. mom's house. It's seven in the morning. My siblings come downstairs. That's not sexy. My mum is looking. <laughs> that is like, not sexy. And I'm like, huh? You know, no. it's just like this is happening. No, it's not sexy. And what did you say? And then I was like, get up, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please get up. I'm just like, I'm just saying to him, please get up, please get up. He said, like, get up and do something. No, oh, my God. So he's there already on the hot. Mum's got towels in the house. Mm. Hot, cold towels, and I'm just like. Please, I actually beg you to get up. But do you know that a lot of people do propose like, to, out of like yeah, like, yeah, yeah panic, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like that you. is what like like that's what I wanted, and I, I was like, no, this isn't what I wanted. I just wanted you to be romantic. Mm. <laughs> <And buy me laughs> flowers. I don't know how we got here. It's too much. Anyway, so yeah, and then my mom, I turned to my mom, and I was like, he's not for you. He said no. To be proposed at 7 a.m. <laughs> no, it's not a madness. That's no. mad. That's my mom insane. Was, her mom was like, that's your fault, man. You spread your legs. I'm sad. So what happened to the when we when date with? Like, did that last anyway? No. No. Yeah, no. How did you get rid of your ex? Um, You have to wean it off. Uh-huh. So he's like, it's really bad, but I had already mentally checked out the relationship before I broke up with yeah. him. Oh, women always women do, do this, yeah. yeah. And like, I mm-hmm. think my last... It's <laughs> my hated me. The last straw was when he dropped me to my birthday dinner and said, that's your birthday gift. Well, drop you to your birthday dinner? Yeah, I went out for dinner with my friends and he was like, yeah. Did he pay for the dinner for your friends? No. He just dropped you, the dropping. He just dropped you. The, the lift was the... petrol the- was the gift. <laughs> <laughs> so at that point, so that was November, so I had mentally checked out. So I broke up with him New Year's Day. You know me, I like a bit of drama. Mm. New Year's Day, New Year, New Me, broke up mm. with him. And then it was like... Between Jan and March, that's when he was doing his crazy shit. Mm-hmm. And then I just slowly just started, like, I wouldn't reply to messages because, you know, you still kind of dip back. Mm-hmm. Occasionally sleep together. And then I just realised the more I keep going back, mm-hmm. it's just really bad. Mm-hmm. And so I just like, started, like, weaning myself off him. And then, yeah, now he's engaged and I love that for him. Aww. Well, the ex-boyfriend's engaged? Yeah, my ex is engaged. And Aww. I love that for him. I'm really happy, like, he's found his person. Mm. And I've always said, I'm not your person. You like the idea of me, but you don't like me. Mm. Do you know what? I love that for you because even though I'm gay and I don't care, there's two guys that I went on one date. They got married. And I wasn't happy that they got married. <laughs> you, you wasn't happy. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait a second. These are men. Yeah, but yeah. I, and you're I, not happy that they got married. you get married before me? <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what? That's the thing. Like, I'm kind of like, I'm like, why do they get to win? Like, he's almost like one. Like, he was the one that was like horrible to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's now getting married. But at the same time, I'm like, got, he's done, I'm done. Yeah, now. it's not like, you. You it's should be happy me. that it's not you I'm that he's getting married to. It's not me. Like, mm. yeah, I can't be. Like, I remember we saw each other at like a uh, first birthday party like last year. And then he was just like, the version of you that you are today, I couldn't be with. And mm. I said, I love that for me. Because that's mm. gross. Mm. I love it for me. And I was so like, you guys yeah. are still friends? Um, no, I don't want to be friends with him. Okay, yeah. Like, only mm. reason, because there's too much history. When you've been together with someone for six years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too much history. And I, mm. I don't want that. Like, mm. I want to get into my relationship knowing I've let go of that. Yeah. And I definitely have boys. So, so do you know when people are still friends with their exes? Do you think that's just... I think that's rubbish. I think that's rubbish. But then it's friends all hexes, but she says it's rubbish. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Nana. Nana. Come on. Nana's ex was at her 30th party. Explain. Nana's ex was at her 30th. First of all. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Who was you there? They wanted to come. No, you came. You killed the end. I came, yeah. I came to your party and Pat was just like, you can find a girlfriend in here, you know. Done. And then there was like only two straight men in there, and I was just like, oh, I'm still. It was definitely yeah, it was, it was definitely men. a party for the girls. Yeah, yeah. one of the straight men was a podcaster, and I was like, I'm not doing that. Fair enough. Oh yeah, I know who he is. Yeah, and I was like, oh, mm, yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, he's nice though. He's, he's nice. He's, oh, he's nice. lovely. He's lovely. He's a cool guy. He's, he's a cool a guy. guy. I, I was feeling it, yeah. but at the same time, 
is the podcast. I, I, yeah, I'm, they've they've got got I'll tell you off air. I'll tell they've you. They've got bad. Okay, okay, off air. Oh, there's tea off air. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there's some nice girls at the party. Right. There's some nice girls. Yeah, yeah. I was some ready. Nice there's some nice yeah. friends at the party. I said, if someone tried it, yeah. Listen, yeah. there were some nice girls. Yeah, there were some nice girls, and your ex was there. Let me, let me, let me, let me, we're not friends, friends. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, do the friends enough for us to be her friends? Yeah, but she's but like, your <laughs> she's no, celebrating no. your life. But also, <laughs> but also, I'm friends with her sister. I'm re- re- really good friends. Yeah. You know, when you break up with them, you've got to break up with the family too. What? They go out to dinner and all sorts. <laughs> they break up with the sister. Wow, you're better than me, boy. I let go of everyone. No, yeah, but I'm friends, uh, uh, distant, distant friends, and loose friends. Nana loose. invited a few of my ex flings to her party. There was about one, two. No, three. Like, who's that's your personal problem. But I feel like I broke up quite a few. Exactly, exactly. exactly. I, 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 I have that, that, that many. Do you have <laughs> they're, all, they're all at Nana's party. <laughs> they're all at Nana's party in the whole room. Now Twiggy's about woman. That's actually not my problem. Yeah, she even and then Twiggy had to had a word with one of them, not a word like that. But it was just like they can. But, no but the thing about Twiggy is her having the word is kind of like from a good place. Yeah. Like you know when Twiggy no, was yeah. like just you know just letting you know. No, it, was, it wasn't even that. Like, you know why? Because in the past Twiggy has been a bit like when she's when she says when a girl says hello to her Twiggy has been like Wait, <laughs> yeah. So but then so the girl was just like I said hello to Twiggy and she didn't say hello back. So like, you know let me introduce you guys officially. So there's no weirdness because she's the only person I've dated before who I'm still cool with. This mm. one, I'm not cool with nobody else. The other ones they go to therapy because of her, so they're not. <laughs> <friends>. <laughs> they're they're not the one, yeah, the one before Twiggy, she said that she's in therapy because of you. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> do you know what? It's because I started. The thing is, when me and Twiggy got into a relationship, it was very abrupt. There was no, yeah. there wasn't much of a build up. It was mm. just like I mean, it was four years of a build up. <laughs> no, but it was still abrupt. It was still that moment Came was abrupt. Out of nowhere. Yeah, because mm. the day before I had her number, the day before I was in peaches, <laughs> and I was like, the day I was in peaches, and the day before I had also had her number blocked. So you told me to unblock her oh number. My God. So, like, yeah. <laughs> so it was very abrupt. Yeah. So obviously, whoever I was seeing, they just see me, and I'm in this relationship. Just like, no, I can't, like that's a bit mad. <laughs> is it hold on a second? Yeah. Yeah. No, I couldn't be like. I literally like my ex is high by. Like I wanted to be high by. But you know mm. what? Also, my relationships were bad. So like we didn't you end on bad terms. By the time like, we got to a point, like we got to a point, it wasn't bad. Mm. But I just I feel like there's certain things you just need to let go and move on mm. with your life. Mm. And I feel like, like I said again, we were together for a long time. We experienced a lot together. We don't need that. Like mm. I messaged him on his birthday. He messaged me on my birthday. But I think this year's the last, like last year was the last year I messaged him on his birthday. I mm. think we've, we've said it now. Mm. What else has he said? Right, right. You know yeah. I, mean? just I, just, I just want to put our disclaimer out there to the one that was in therapy. I really wish them the best in their therapy. <laughs> you don't! You don't! No, she you wishes wish them the best in yeah, their <laughs> disclaimer, a disclaimer. I do wish them all the best in their therapy. No, no, no. Do you know what? Yeah, Rosie <laughs> tried. He, Rosie tried to apologize. And she was still I tried to apologize. I, when I heard she was in therapy, I actually oh, reached out to apologize. But she still be up. But she still was like, "No man could drive Fuck you, therapy, bitch." Bro. I'm no. Like, Listen, no one should let anybody drive them into like depression, depression therapy. Like, honestly, Sometimes it's a given that it's gonna happen, yeah. But try your best you to stay Nigerian level. Yeah. Of I just feel like, 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 yeah, for Nigerian that girls, maybe that's situation. Right. That situation wasn't that deep for that. No, it was the situation wasn't that deep. We weren't even if it dating wasn't, like if that. It was like, like, yeah, it you know, that if it was a different situation, I'd yeah, understand. understand. Yeah. Like if it was deep, like six years deep, yeah. and all that, I would understand if you went to therapy because of your man. Yeah, do you know what I mean? That's not your situation. No. So. The only thing I talk about Some in therapy, two months. um in terms of my ex, I'm just like, how did he win and I didn't? But, <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, yeah, you, you win. You, no, but you don't <laughs> you know won. what's going on in the situation, though. Suppressing yourself, yeah. there would be no growth yeah. because you couldn't sure. be a true. And self. you don't know what he's really going in the situation. You don't yeah, know if he's yeah. like happy. You don't know if she's happy. You don't know. She's probably not happy. Yeah. Social media relationships. This is why I don't believe anything. I no. Believe. And that's why I don't want my relationship to my social media and mm-hmm. have it be a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that's when you feel a bit of pressure. Mm-hmm. You're literally the, there for the black community. <laughs> do, do you know, do you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Like last year, like being too, what was being too good arguing about? I don't remember. We was arguing about something, yeah. And I was, when I said I was angry, I was ready to end it all. I was ready to end it all, yeah. I was like, mm-hmm. no, this, I'm, yeah. I'm not doing this no more. Mm-hmm. And I thought about all the things that I'm, that I'm letting. like letting go yeah. of. But I thought about what people are going to think. Yeah. 
I thought about it, like, I was, thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking, oh, nah, well, I'm, I'm not gonna put, I, w- I would never put out a statement. I would never put out a statement. I would delete, if me and Twiggy break up, God forbid we don't, yeah, I would delete pictures and keep you, no one, I'm not giving don't explaining to nobody, but I was thinking, like, oh, what are people gonna think now? Like, I was thinking, are people gonna say this? People gonna say that? But that should not be a fault. Mm. All these people have nothing to do with my relationship. It just should be about our relationship, and that's that. This is why you just keep it to yourself, and then I yeah. just pop up marriage. And that is my aim. I just pop up marriage. Yeah. And, like, and even I'll do a Paris Hilton and just place myself on the wedding day mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. on Easter Ray. Easter, yeah. I did a photo shoot. <laughs> Someone else did that as well. Um, they married a Nigerian man, uh, Kerry Kerry Washington. Oh yeah. oh yeah, we just popped up. about her man before. The evil man, yeah, she just popped up. But but the thing is, like I said, I'm a fixer. So let's say my man we need has to stop a business, fixing has a business that. venture. Mm. I'm gonna have to publicly support him. <laughs> That's just in my nature. No, you're gonna have to. I'll just be stop like, fixing. I'm, I'm, I just want to say it's my husband. We're not fixing my 2022. Partner. No, no fixing support yeah i don't think that's fixing that's supporting yeah supporting do but you no believe not some people put the picture out so that other women can be like they're gonna come to her if anything's going on some people put it out to do it just <laughs> as a so anybody got something to say to me you know is anyone no. some people do that but, so you know what? i feel like the person i end up with needs to know that i'm mad enough to kill you if anybody comes okay. to me as a woman mm, yeah. we don't con- condone murder <laughs> yeah but i i, I should start like i will show you subtle madness but i'm not mad but mm. like, i will show you yeah Oh, not my phone ringing. <laughs> oh, it's mummy. Okay. Even, um, the, even the subtle madness. Hey, Charlie. Do you, show, do you have to be there to show, um, show subtle madness sometimes? Who? When you're dating someone. Nana, Nana doesn't show madness. So I'm not mad. But I feel like you have it in you. It's in your eyes. Nana's like, a bit the, mad, but she doesn't show. You don't show. You don't have to even show it. It just has to be in your eyes. Like, I've never shown mm. it, but like, people are very afraid of me sometimes. Because of mm. like, yeah. I tell, I, I'm quite. I show my madness. I do. I'm not with yeah. the. Sh- I'm not yeah. with the shit. So I, I don't have to do much. You, yeah, I don't feel like you're mad though. I feel like Twiggy's mm. the mad one. Rosie can. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? It takes a long time for Rosie to it get mad. It takes a long time for me to be, to care enough to be mad. <laughs> yeah. However, but when she's there, she's oh, it's a oh, hundred. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's not a nice madness. No. Twiggy has to be a madness. Yeah, I've I've yeah. done a madness before. Mm. And never got the deposit back on the hotel room Ooh. yeah that was that was that's when i said no nah, i'm never gonna let a man get me to this oh. ever again oh no my man is i told Tuki if i <laughs> not you doing it. i said if you've tried to break up with me you know i'm not going anywhere you can do what you like but me, I won't post it. I still in a relationship. <laughs> I said, you can tell me you're going to break up with me, but we are still in a relationship. Oh my I said, God. You sound like an ex. Yeah. <laughs> when you wake up, I'm going to kill your eyes when you wake up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's just like Ross. Ross. What's but the man? <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever done. And honestly, mm-hmm. I will never do it again. I promise. Do not judge me off of this. <laughs> um, I, was a, I was a different person back then. But um, my ex had a best friend. Mm-hmm. And I didn't believe in men having best friends. Female like, best friends. Female best friends. Mm. I was female. At the time, she was a female. Yeah, she's a female. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But at the time, that's how I was. I was like, I don't really, I don't get you guys' friendship. But okay, you've known each other for years. Yeah, no, I don't believe it. Anyway, so one night, she called him. She's like, oh, so like, no, we went to a wedding. We went to one of my good friends' wedding. The wedding ending, and there was boxing late at night. So he was like, oh, you're going to just come back? I was like, yeah, cool. I'll come back to yours. Mm. We'll watch the boxing. Cool. Anyway, so the girl best friend calls. She knows about the wedding. And she's like, oh, hey, I'm going through some stuff. Like, I'm going to kill myself. Mm-hmm. and then he was just like oh my god I've got to go and see her I was like okay yeah I'll come with you just to make sure she's okay he's like no 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 you stay I was like no I'm coming with you and he's like no stay and I'm like no I'm coming with you mm-hmm. and then he was just like no I want you to stay and I was just like no you're staying now <laughs> <laughs> I said I didn't, I didn't expect that one <laughs> I said let her kill herself trick warning um, <laughs> trick warning TW TW and then he was like why couldn't you go with we me? We looked at each other and I was like, why can't, like, because I looked at him, I was like, why can't I go with you? I just. No, I get why you couldn't you know go with I mean? him, though. But I was just like, I just don't get it. Do you know what? Because obviously, like. like but you know what? When I first said I'm coming with you, it was out of concern. Yeah, and like, I feel you it on wasn't that. Out yeah, of, like, yeah, I, I know. Don't trust yeah, you yeah, 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 I feel you. in that moment, it was out of concern. But once you've told me, like, twice. Do you know what? Because it's the, so personal. But maybe because it's personal, the, yeah. Like, it was like personal. But then now you. And the way he put his foot down and he raised his voice at me, I said, I don't like that. Like, why are you so defensive so quickly as well? So anyways, yeah, so he goes to the car. I go to the car. He gets in the car. I get in the car. He drives. 
He gets to the roundabout, he sorts the car. He I've never seen him angry. He's like, just fuck out the car. Just, out. The madness, that's the madness. <laughs> and then I said, This is hot. <laughs> and he said, You're freaking mad. He said, You're mad. No. And I just the car. Do you know but but do you know what women like the madness though? They love it. When I said when I said to you, I'm not leaving, she was like, hmm. Women like the madness. Women really like the madness. They do like the madness. I like the madness. I like some madness. I like some. I don't like no, I don't like the madness. But that's the only But you have to like them like the madness though. You have to actually be attracted to them like the madness. Yeah, now I just I just don't bother. Oh, can I go? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just like I just can't bother to argue. Yeah. Even with my friends, I don't argue anymore. Yeah, okay, yeah, arguing is long. Arguing yeah. is actually long. I need to maintain friendships and maintain relationships this year. That's, like, one of my things this year. Like, mm. maintaining friendships mm. and, like, focusing on the friendships that I currently have and, like, taking them out and, like, spending time together and creating memories. All the other stuff, I don't care. Do you know what? You're talking of friendships, yeah. I always see, like, especially black women online talking about how it's hard to maintain, like, oh, yeah. good friendships. And especially as a black woman, like... But do you know what? I don't get it. I don't understand. Is it jealousy? I don't, an I envy. Think, I think last year I've spoken to a lot of women. Last mm-hmm. year, the big theme was friendships, like big mm-hmm. friendships, like people you've known for over ten years. Like friendships are just gone. And but what? Dissolved. Why? And I feel like there's for me personally, there's been men involved in the mix, and it's just oh. not gone well. For me, it's been like I think I'm a different person to who I was before, and a lot of people don't like that. Like mm. I'm, I'm, I'm like a lot chilled than what I was before. I yeah. used to be like, eh. I, I feel like I was like almost like the group's entertainment. Mm. Yeah, like, do you get what I mean. Whereas right now, I, I don't want to be someone's mm-hmm. entertainment. Mm-hmm. I just want to, I want to be more. I'm more chilled, mm. I guess. And it's just like, why not going out? Like, there's a problem. Like, you don't like us or. Da, 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 da. But do you know what though? I find that. Once you pass 25, yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like when you watch past 25, you're really getting to know yourself. You're changing, you're evolving yeah. and stuff like that. And all your friends that you probably have since secondary school, college, oh, you, yeah. sometimes you go out of each other. Yeah, I see a lot of friendships and break up. together because of how long. Yeah. 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 And, and then mm-hmm. something happens. Mm-hmm. Something, like, there's definitely been situations where all it took was like a conversation mm. for us to fix this. Mm-hmm. But because of the built up like anger tension and, and tension, stuff. It's just dissolved. Yeah. It's just dissolved. And the thing is, some, I think sometimes if you grow apart, it's okay. Yeah. Like, oh, it's it doesn't mean there's a problem. It doesn't mean there's beefing. Yeah. I, like, honestly, I, honestly, okay. I, I just feel like the people that are here in my life right now, they're supposed to be here. Yeah. yeah. Right now. Yeah. And, like, I've made friends with people that like, I fell out with like some of my really good friends like two years ago. We've come back and we're friends, but we're different people. Mm. Yeah. And it works so much better now. We're all like grown ups. Like Be more understanding. Like more understanding. Do you get what I mean? Mm-hmm. And graceful people, as well. Mm. Literally. Whereas like and like, and they get me. Like mm. like Pat, my best friend, oh my god, she gets me to a T. Mm. Like when Iman is angry, she knows don't talk to Iman. She yeah. knows I'm not a morning person. So she doesn't disturb me in the morning. Yeah. I know how she is. If she's upset to leave her, all these things so Certain people should don't get that. That's mm. what I was saying to Rosie the other day when I was like sending her a nine minute voice note. But <laughs> no, guys, n- Nana, Nana has never sent me a voice note that. for that long. The and the thing is, you know, Twiggy's podcast is ten minutes long. I was like, yeah, this, this, this is the same amount Twiggy's podcast episode. <laughs> yeah, oh but <laughs> boy, yeah. Anyway, I was just telling her, yeah, like you know what, you're the one, you're the only one that gets me. Yeah. I've had friends you, come and go, yeah. and they're like, oh, Nana's not a good friend. Nana yeah. just like yeah. to too much, and I don't see Nana. You know, Nana, Nana. I met Nana through my ex, yeah. That's yeah. how I met Nana. And they stopped being friends because she they said that she said that, oh, Nana puts her girlfriends first, or oh, she doesn't oh. she doesn't spend time with me. I buy her birthday presents, she don't buy me birthday presents. That's what? why, yeah. Yeah, she's she's like, I, don't come, I don't come to her birthday parties. No, yeah. that is ho- Do you know what? I said this to Pat, I feel so sorry for you. Because she's still friends with the people that I'm not friends with. Oh, and okay. I just feel so sorry for her because I'm just like you're like stuck in the middle. But, but you know what? She hasn't picked a side, so that's good. Oh sh- now she has to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my thing is I've always I've always been like to her like you know you're allowed to be friends with whoever you want to be friends with and I don't mind but I'm a different person now and there's certain people I'm just I'm done like mm. I'm done once I close the chapter oh my gosh I'm a very stubborn person mm-hmm. once I close the chapter on you wow it's gonna be like we never knew each other which we in Sagittarius I'm a Scorpio a Scorpio oh, yeah, it's all making sense <laughs> it's all making sense Does now <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 it's still making no, sense. It literally is like it's like I've never known you. I've mm. to my dad. 
Mm. And walked past it. We're so good at detaching. So good. So and good I love detaching. that. I like that. It's a bit scary. Because, no, no, I love that. It is because scary. We don't hang on to bullshit. Yeah, as well. No, to but like... it's a bit scary. Do you, but do you know, funny enough, yeah, me and Twiggy yesterday were talking. I feel like I'm mentioning Twiggy's name bay in this episode. But we were talking yesterday. And she was she was just saying that how that if we was to break up, the things I feel like we we don't always talk about breaking up. By the way, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't always talk about breaking up. Yeah, but we're talking about if we were to break up, then um she was like she feels like I would just be okay with it. She was like I don't. She, she was like think she, said, she feels I'll be sad, but she feels that I would move on with my life. Well, she'll be crying every single day. Yeah, and I, I was that. and I was like, do you know what? Do you know what though? That doesn't measure the love. Mm, that whether yeah, I'm crying every single day, it, yeah, I shouldn't yeah, have to be going through. You shouldn't have to see my trauma yeah. in order for me to know that I loved you because I loved it sitting in trauma. Mm. So it shouldn't have to be like that. And then she was like, mm. "Okay." You know what <laughs> for me, I don't feel. I don't. I'm not. A cry, I don't sit there and cry. Mm. But my heart actually physically hurts. Yeah. I can't describe that pain. Like if you feel things really deeply. Yeah, like literally. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, even like, if you don't cry. When my friendship circle broke down, I was. I couldn't even. See I was in so much pain and I had COVID at the time. Mm-hmm. So I was like, so I've got COVID and I'm in this heartbreak. Like, yeah. I actually felt that heartbreak and I never felt that way about any man before. Yeah. So I think I, don't, I have experienced true love. I you think, you don't think so? Because I didn't feel this heartbreak when mm. I broke up with my ex. You know but it's a different type of heartbreak yeah. though. I, I think that when I broke up with my cool friendship circle, that's, I haven't experienced heartbreak like that either. It was heartbreaking. Yeah, it's, it's painful. I didn't cry, but the pain in my mm. heart but if, once I've detached I will walk past you do you know like to I be fair leave. they just sent me some not message you've changed too much and I just said okay cool there was no discussion and that has just been yeah, it. it like there was I that was I feel, I feel like that but romantic my romantic detachment is not the same yeah. like I still have the back and forth mm. afterwards I don't I don't just say oh they will break up with me and be like oh I'm done or whatever or I say they're still always back and forth have you ever done a long paragraph like long it's been a while since I've done no, one of those I haven't it's done. been a I while it's part of growing up you yeah do it it's been a while I've done I it for years I think she'll be like okay mm, yeah mm, okay I've, there was this guy last week oh, why is there always so many men that are just rubbish man? <laughs> anyway, so this guy last week he um i don't know what happened new year's day but he had like this epiphany that i was the love of his life whatever that always happens, 20, like, yeah. oh, always like new year's day I yeah. Don't know what happened. yeah maybe that's his resolution oh when when back. big ben went bong i just you know i just thought about the time we boned <laughs> <laughs> literally so he had like this epiphany moment so pat and i went hack aside my own on business and then i got the you went for midnight no i went no 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 the day after new oh okay day. So okay they went to hack so I'm literally running my business. I get a text and he's like, oh, like, hey, I just thought about you. And I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And then we're going back and forth and he's basically like, oh, I feel like you didn't give us a try. Like you literally like detached yourself really quickly. I was like, you didn't give me what I wanted. So I, I was like, mm-hmm. you get what I mean? I was like, this was like 2020, 2019, whatever. Right. Anyways, my man was like, I want to try again. I said to Pat, no, mm-hmm. I don't want him. And Pat was like, open this. That's my word for the year. She's like, you need to be more open. True. She said, you need to be more open. I said, okay. So he was like, I want to come over Mm -hmm. and like, you know, talk and apologize properly. He came over, we spoke, went for a walk. And I was like, these are my expectations. Mm -hmm. What are your expectations? Cool. Let's go. Let's try this. Okay. Mm -hmm. I said to Pat, I came back at the house. I said to Pat, this man is going to disappoint me in the time it took Jesus, well, God, to build this entire world. He's going to disappoint me in yeah. seven days. Sixth day comes. Oh. I'm like, what are you doing this weekend? Mm-hmm. This weekend that has just gone. Oh, I've got bare birthdays, you know. I said, okay, cool. Like, have fun. And he's like, so when are we, like, going out? Mm-hmm. Like, when am I going to see you again? He was just like, it will eventually happen. He was like, I don't know why you're, I don't know why you're so quick to, for us to go out, we've known each other for a lot. He was writing, typing, typing, typing. Do you know what I did? Block. Block. Yeah, yeah. But you have to. You have to. You have to. He came to bother you. Yeah. That is my yeah. thing. You've come to bother me. Mm. You've come to take up my time nah, and you have my to block. energy. Nah, you have and to block. <laughs> yeah, you have to. You wasted, <laughs> you wasted my gas and yeah, electric. Yeah, you have to block. And my nah. drink and my juice. I don't like people who disturb peace. And, yeah, yeah. and that's the thing. Like, I was actually, I, I, I hadn't thought about him in two years. I was like, mm. damn. I was like, oh hey. Nah. People, that, that, people that come back. Did you ever have someone? Anyone came back? No, I don't think I had. Men always come back. come back to me. Women have too much shame, you know. Yeah, women, women don't come shame. back. Men, oh yeah, women have shame. I don't yeah. think I've had women to come don't come back. back. 
Men Even if they back. want to, they don't. Men will come back. Men always come back. Like actually, I don't. I do think there's one or two that want to come back because I'm in a relationship now. They don't. <laughs> I do think so. Because you're I, I, so sad. I mean, I've seen them out and I've seen them looking. <laughs> cool the wink, wink. Looking. Not the wink, wink. Not the. <laughs> I, see, I see them looking. If the cool of their glasses. Yeah, no, think, that's mm. the thing. When when they see you out, yeah. But I need mm. more men to come like that. But to be looking and giving you that. Come back to me. Oh, it is in Canada. No one a champagne. You better drink the champagne. You're the champagne. No, do you know what? I hope it for you. I mean, no, him. He's um, he was a PT. It wasn't really for me. Okay. <laughs> so what's the one with a PT? <laughs> Where's the one with a PT, please? Sorry. We can't jump shit. We can't jump shit. Yeah. No, 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 no. I truly, like, I've seen him in the gym with girls. Mm-hmm. And I saw him in the gym with me. Do you oh, know what I mean? Okay, so okay, I okay, like, okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to be very insecure in this relationship. Yeah, yeah, do, you know, do you know what I've noticed yet? I, don't, I haven't seen personal trainers train, male personal trainers train other men who yeah. aren't athletes. Yeah. I've yeah, never seen it before. About, then? They're always playing girls. Uh, yeah, or, or, white, or white men. Or girls. Or either white men or athletes. Yeah. I don't see them train other black men. He was, no, he was like adamant. Okay, no, he was adamant. He's never slept with any of his clients. I was like, why? What are you doing it's, here? It's given, um, it's given, oh, love you, Jamel. But it's given Jamel from Blue, what's that? The, the therapy oh, thing. <laughs> Do you know what, I, actually, very, I actually know Jamel, so my bad, but it's yeah. given Jamel. No, no, no. He, like, literally, it gave that because I remember, so I, when we, I literally haven't spoken to him in ages, and then I saw him at the gym with a girl, yeah, and then um, it was like a real touchy feely. Mm. And then I just went up to him, oh, I saw him at, at my gym because I recently mm. moved and he didn't know. Mm. And I saw him at my gym, and I was like, oh, I saw him at my gym. He was just like, yeah, I was like, oh, like, is that your girl? And he was like, no, that's my client. That's what you were doing that we were playing. Touching was he touching her? Like, like touching her. Like, like, you know how girls are like, you must like the most muscular guy in the room. You do you know what? Like, how do you how comfortable do you feel with a personal trainer? I don't even like muscular guys like that. <laughs> so No, because I, f- I just feel like if I had a personal trainer, yeah, that was a man, I'd be mad uncomfortable, you know. But you know what? They don't, don't care. fucking touch me. I'd be That's mad uncomfortable. They, they don't touch do me. Care. Like, they like thick. They love it. Mm. Like, that's even No, but my, my bum is too big. Like, I don't... I feel like... I actually feel like they'd be looking at my bum. They would be, yeah, they they'd love make me bum. uncomfortable. They One they time, like, this guy was, like, giving me advice in the gym. He's like, oh, you don't need to look at your bum. Like, just, it's enough. That's how you know oh, you looking, looking, no, looking. That's really poor advice. And I was just like... And I think I do need to look at it because it's actually fat. It's nothing... It's, it's not It's not <laughs> anything else. It's fat. That's what I did the other day. I was like, yeah, my ass is fat, but it's fat. Mm. Yeah. Once you, you know lose weight, you're gonna, it's going to lose that as well. Yeah. It's going to go once you lose weight. I'm going to need a man to because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this titties and ass is gonna oh, go going to go into the gym i've been going to the gym i've been doing my 5 a.m going to the gym that's what we're gonna be doing i've been going how? we're starting tomorrow honestly it gets easier like mm-hmm. it gets so much easier do you have like someone who's like body goals um i'm my own body goals my okay. 2019 body is my body goals. Mm. Okay. I'm sexy then. Okay. And there okay. wasn't like a lot of titties. Like I just hate the fact I have a lot of titties and ass now. Mm. Like, I don't want to be a titties and ass kind of girl. I just mm. want to be like. Someone listens to singing. Ding ding ding. There is a going ding ding. Someone's listening. Yeah, yeah. It's titties and ass. Don't listen because it's all going. <laughs> I want to be like quite like. I want to be turned. I want to be mm. healthy. I'm really keen on being healthy on the inside. Because right. like my family's got. <laughs> Well, like, listen, to, listen to that that's what you need to hear mm, like my chill. mom's got bare medical problems bro mm, diabetes high blood pressure I'm like yeah no this can't it yeah, stops here yeah yeah, yeah it stops yeah. here I feel you my mom's never been in the gym she's never set foot in one I don't think my mom's ever been to one either no my mom's ever been to one <laughs> no never I want to take her though Imagine I'm not going to imagine that. I can't imagine that. I'm, 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 I'm not going to say my mom's a gym. <laughs> nah, my mom, okay. nah. No, do you know what my mom asked for Christmas? She asked me for Adidas tracksuit and trainers oh. for Christmas. Auntie, said, auntie said I'm a young gay. And I said, oh, you go to the gym? She said, no, just run my errands. Auntie. <laughs> oh, but we have to start wrapping up, guys. So oh, 100, 100 we're, we're going to wrap up. But Iman, so we just need to know when is your podcast, podcast. coming? When's your podcast coming? This is the pressure. What do you, mean you don't <laughs> understand? <laughs> when is your podcast what coming? There's no podcast coming. There has to be. Yeah. There has to be a podcast coming. But I am going back to YouTube. Okay, okay, okay. Like, um, my life is always quite exciting. Yeah. There's always something in my life. Um, yeah, that's it. You're is just the channel still up, right? Yeah. So what's the name of the channel? 
It's Amar Layla. It's just Amar Layla. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Find me on there. Um, yeah. What can be, we see? What can we see? There'll be no dating on there. So <laughs> what, <laughs> if you ever are looking for a man, you will never see it on my social media. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. But you, tell you whenever do soft, soft launch. What did I say? Soft launch. Soft launch. I'll do soft launch when he asks me to be his girlfriend. Okay. I'll do soft launch. Mm-hmm. And then when we get married. And okay. then our first child. Right. Okay. So like you've got plan. three opportunities like for the soft launch. Okay. And yeah. that's what the gorgeous, gorgeous girl should be on there. The gorgeous, gorgeous girl. I really want this episode to be called gorgeous, gorgeous girl. So I have to put it in there somewhere. No, no, no. I'm a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Oh, good, oh, gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous girl. No, that's it. Yeah, sure, that's when do people say gorgeous girl, what's the other one they say that these days? Soft life. Soft life. Gorgeous, luxury black girl. Luxury black girl. Well All these sayings make me lol. They're so funny. <laughs> like TikTok, TikTok. You know, like I know you guys like to tussle, but I love that. I know the girls like to tussle. <laughs> it's what they say. Yeah, the yeah. one girl's like I know you guys like the girls like to tussle. I know the girls like to tussle. A girl said that. Yeah. yeah. What's, that, what's that about? Because she was asking something. She was saying something. She was saying something. It was like basically a statement. I don't know. And people probably wouldn't agree. So she was just basically, I know, like, I know you girls like to tussle, but you know, yeah. Well, is there any straight men that are going to watch this or listen to this? Yeah, we got some straight men listening yeah, to yeah. this. Do you know, the, the thing, straight men listen, you know, when we go out, straight men talk to us more about the podcast, the gays. I One time we were talking the gays. <laughs> some guy was looking at us, was sitting across, they was looking at us like, why is my girl? Yeah. It was screaming. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then when we were outside, he was like, oh my God, I love your podcast so much. Yeah. <laughs> like, when I say, I feel like he's boom. And I think every time he sees us, every single time he's like, no, your podcast. Yeah, man. Yeah, I yeah. Love yeah. That. No, but no, when we go to like the DLTs and the Chief, especially Chief Shader's event. Yeah. Chief Shader's oh, event. Birthday? Yeah, we're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be there. Yeah. At his, bir- yeah. At, at his event. Like a lot of the men listen to the podcast of his really? and You know, when we went to his festival, there was some guys that were like, There's bear at a festival. I told him I want to be on the table with the big boys. Oh, you're going to roll with the big boys. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> yes, yes man. But, um, in one, thank you so much thank for coming. You so thank much. you for having me. On, guys. Thank, thank you so much. So, so we have to have, you know, we have to have all this greatness. Good. It was cool. Yeah. The thing is, yeah, this is weird. that's why I didn't plan the episode. We just knew it was going to flow in it. Yeah. We didn't plan. Yeah, yeah. And um, thanks to everyone else. Hundred episode, hundredth episode. Hundreds. Wow. And um, there's going to be a lot more. I was going to say a thousand more, but I'm not sure about that. Yeah, Excuse me. More. I'm not sure so about that. A thousand. Let's just start with a hundred. Let's start with a hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, like, it's been amazing. Then I think to be my co host. Oh, thank you for being my co host. Yeah. Amazing, anytime, babe. Anytime, yeah. babe. I'll be here with y'all. Yeah, I love this and guys. Y'all, babe. <laughs> And yeah, I just hope that we continue to grow this year. Happy Amen. New Year. Mm. Everyone else as well, everyone that's more listening. Money. More money. I hope you guys get more money. Yeah, I hope you go fund me. You don't even need to go fund me because you have money. More, more brand deals. Yeah. Yeah. More content. Oh, oh, listen. Oh. Listen. Yes. Money, money. Yes. Because you know why? You have to say 24 hours as money, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, get your money, mate. I was up, yeah. Get your, get well, your hey, money, sir. I'm talking. Listen, oh, listen. We need to go. Money, mate. Said we have to go. Let's go work. But yeah, okay. man. Thanks for listening, guys. And make sure you use the hashtag Tutu's podcast and conversation. Conversation. Listen, you can now rate on on, on uh, Spotify. Spotify. Yep. So make sure you give us a five star because this is a five star podcast. So make sure you give Period. it five stars only. <laughs> I don't expect to see nothing less. If you do anything less, comes you a hater, hey yeah. Man. But you're listening. You you've listened for the whole episode up to this point, so that makes you love it, yeah. yeah. And so make sure you hashtag to the podcast on Twitter. Make sure you um, review us on Apple Podcasts. And see you next week. Peace. <laughs>